Hey guys, what you're about to watch, if you choose to watch it, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, is a, a two hour abridged version of my KH1 level one playthrough that I streamed on Twitch over the past couple of weeks. Two hours seems like a lot, but it's also a condensed version of a 32 hour plus playthrough. I tried to include things that people clipped, uh, things that I found funny, or interesting. It felt like a very self-congratulatory exercise. I hope to never do it again. As I work on two actual videos, I thought maybe you'd like to see some moments from my playthrough here. The full playthrough can be found on my second channel, which is called Regular Pat's Cleverly Named Second Channel. You can go over there and subscribe. Um, it'd be cool if it was like a big round number, like maybe like a four-digit one that ended in three zeros. I don't know. I'm not a mathematician. But yes, I promise I am working on actual videos that aren't just like 30 second silly garbage posts that amuse me. So without further ado, I present regular Pat's KH1 Level 1, the movie, the YouTube video. Have fun. Bye. I just wanted to do some casual, as it says in the title, you know, casual uh, Level 1, KH1. Um, I want to do something different because I always pick the staff and I, that's kind of like the easy mode for this. So I'm going to abandon the staff and pick up... Um, which one's the most useless one? I don't know if it really matters. I guess I'll pick up the sword because the damage that you do doesn't really matter in level one. I have to learn how to get good while like trying to talk because I typically don't sit in my room and talk to myself as I play. Um, only if I'm having like a really bad day. <laughs> yeah, it is very opaque about what these decisions mean. It's like, okay, I like to collect neat things. I guess that means my adventure begins in the dead of night somehow. There's a correlation there that's never really explained, but... But yeah, if you don't pick all the bottom options, you can potentially um, level up. Alright, I think game audio should be singled for Valentine's Day, just like me. Look at all my saves. This is what you need to have when you're making YouTube videos all the time. Alright, let's... Oh, you know what? Um, I'm sorry for the people who this is going to offend, but I need to do this and switch my switch my camera to inverted. I'm sorry. It's just how I was raised. Sorry if my room's messy. Some people said that my end table was messy, so I just threw a bunch of shit into the bins beneath it. That's life. I don't know why I just tried to bisect Kyrie. Shout out to my friend Shane who told me about the dry nipple uh, run. Try to get all the fish without getting Sora's nipples wet. It's hard. Ah, get those fish. Oh, my nipples are wet. Oh wait, fish is tomorrow. Oh, I'm such a fake fan. I'm a fake fan. I'm trying to get fish, you can't even get fish yet. See, that's, what, that's what's gonna happen, guys. I'm gonna have streamer brain. All those things that I taught you in those videos, it's as if I never even learned them. Ooh. Blood64, a great name, a reference to Mario Sunshine, the best of the 3D Marios. Hot take, don't care. <laughs> uh, I was saying this before um, in my Discord server, but I think like Mario Sunshine is to Galaxy as KH1 is to KH2. Um, and you know, make that mean whatever you think it should mean. But it really is true to me, and also KH3 is Odyssey, if that makes sense. Um, and then Mario 64 is kind of like the birth by sleep to me, which is, you know, they're both perfectly good games, but maybe a bit clunky. All right, now we can get our fishies. God, I, I mean, I know I already got Sora's nipples wet, but I want to try to do this. By the way, you can lock on. Did you know? I didn't put that in the video because I figured people, you know, that was kind of consensus knowledge. Some people don't know it though. Come on, you get over here. I'm trying to keep my nips dry. Ew, Ansem's in here. Oh, it's so creepy. I'm pretty sure um, Novayon did a video about uh, the creepiest things in KH1, and this is definitely one of them. I haven't had the chance to watch it, but I've seen the thumbnail, and I think I think the Phantom is the uh, on the thumbnail, but that part right there always scared me as a child. If I had to make, like, just not even Kingdom Hearts, but, like, top five, um, like, scariest video game moments of my childhood, I think that's easy top five. Ooh, Sora Tonin? That's such a fun name! Thank you for following. I love that. I gotta get some extra serotonin. That's so good. Romance them in real life. I'd probably scream. Yeah. I'd scream and run away. I mean, you're in a cave too. That's the thing. Like, Sora really, you know, his his escape, like, he can run to the left, but, like, he's, like, against the wall, and I don't like that. 
Uh, we're gonna lose to the race because I always lose to the race if, if anyone's watching. I will biff it on the little ledge. Um, who wants to name the raft? Somebody in the chat name the raft. Honestly, Sorotonin would be a great race name, or uh, raft name. Okay, if everyone's just gonna use a username, call it a slur. Oh, okay, we're gonna call it a slur? I know just what to do. You wanna call it a slur, right? I'm dancing with the devil right now. Floaty. That's the worst slur in the Kingdom Hearts universe. I love their stances here. It's so funny to me. Why are you not at all even attempting to get a head start, Sora? You're just like, hmm. Bing. Hey, Riku. He's so polite. He waits for you to jump so he doesn't, like, knock you out of the- OH GOD! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. This rock is so weird. You can break this rock. If I knew about this, I didn't know about it back when I made the video. But you have to, like, wedge yourself in here. This is what the people are here for. Come on. Right? Am I on the right path here? Am I on the regular path? Ah, ah. Yeah, baby. Any, any percent rock break. I think that's the world record. Oh gosh, this also really scared me as a kid, because I was playing alone in my living room, I think my parents weren't there, and I was like, why isn't this working? It's phasing right through them, and then I stopped playing. I never played the game again uh, by myself for at least, I don't know, a year? I always wanted to be with somebody else. Ooh, disrespect. Killed with a concussion. Bam, bam. Um, fun fact, you can break Traverse Town, and I didn't know this at the time when I made the, the fact videos, but you can basically lock your game and you have to reset it if you do this. I'm not going to do it because I haven't saved since Dive to the Heart, I don't think, but if you can, like, if you can, like, uh, cheese your way onto this roof here, you can break the game, <laughs> but I can't do it. Because you basically pass the loading zone for the little, like, text bubble cutscene here. And then if you leave the first district, um, no Heartless spawn, and Leon's just hanging out near the uh, Dalmatian house, and he's acting like you've already um, beaten guard armor. But, like, Don and Goofy never show up, and no Heartless ever spawn, and you basically have to read the fuck. Just believe me, alright? I've done it before. <laughs> this reminds me of that vine of the guy trying to do the kickflip. I can! I thought you said you could break Traverse Town. I can! I can! But not right now, I can't do it. Come on. Yeah, essentially you, you skip the scene where Sora's like, I'm in another world! And the music never plays, and it's like basically like a ghost Traverse Town. It looks all the same pretty much, except Leon's hanging out and acting like you beat the world already. Um, so you do have to soft reset. I just want to show that I can do it. Ah, oh, just, you know, imagine Sora grabbing onto the roof with his little hand and pulling himself up and then breaking the game. Also, look at that. It's the Jolly Roger. I put that in my video, but for anyone who hadn't seen it. I put this in the video too, but like, the game's like, oh, I should go over here. And it's like, maybe over here, idiot. What now? I say, ignore that and keep going. Cage 2 would not let you walk through the door, I'm saying. None of the games would. I mean, everything after Cage 1 would block you from exiting. It'd be like, you gotta talk to Sid first. This game's like, you should do this, but we're not going to stop you, you lunatic. We're going to fight Leon right now. Oh god. Um, um, um. Alright. Run away! But I want to go on the roof. Get up here, you coward. Face me. He's trying to cast fire on the box. <laughs> ah! Get, get down! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Alright, we're going to do an aerial attack. We're going to do, um, like, Ezio Auditore. Coming down for the assassination. Ready? Ready? Yeah! <laughs> that was actually really good. I wish I got the actual combo there, but like a side thing. Sam Zippo, what's going on? Oh god, Sam Zippo, I don't want to blame you for anything, but I think I got hit because of you. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to fireball me and try to. Or maybe I can. Ah! Ah! Oh! No! <laughs> you fool! I love this scene. We're actually gonna watch this. That's so funny. I love it. It's still funny. Sora, let's go. It's so chaotic. As a kid, I was like, because as a kid, you don't do it as fast as I just did. You know, as a kid, you're running around the entire world, um, seeing Donald and Goofy like come out of doors, and you're like, oh, I just missed him. I just missed him. 
you don't know how long it's gonna take. So for us, it took like five minutes. But like seeing everything come together like that in that moment was so hype for me. It's still hype. I like how I've never spoken to any of these ducks. I just come in and just fucking hit their ceiling fan. Bye. I'm done. That's it. That's the transaction. Lore question. How did the triplets get to Traverse Town? Um, probably Scrooge somehow dropped them off. I mean, they're all like venture capitalists, so um, Scrooge is probably like, that sounds like a good idea. Well, I'll take you to this strange foreign land so you can make money. I'm sure he's getting most of the profits, right? I mean, they say that they're saving up for their own adventure, but I would think that um, Scrooge is probably taking at least a 90% cut. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> me streaming to an audience of more than five people is gonna make me nervous. I'm sorry. I get nervous when I'm around pretty subscribers, and it's like, there's, there's 20 of you. I hate that Goofy hands you dodge roll. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> like... For anyone who says that I never call this game out, like, it's really dumb that Goofy's like, here, have a dodge roll. I know it says he learned it, but like, can't he like, be like, hey, let me teach you this. We should look for abilities along the way, like, that doesn't make sense. It's like a weird grammatical thing. My opinion on the cage games coming to PC, I think it's really cool. I think it's, you know, way past due. Um, people are upset about the prices. I kind of feel that. I mean, I feel like... I feel like it should just be the all-in-one for fifty dollars, you know, fifty or sixty dollars for the all-in-one, and then, um, you know, fifty for the fifty, sixty for uh, Melody of Memory. The fact that it's broken up into one point five and two point five, two point eight, three, and Melody of Memory is bad. Um, it should be. There's no excuse for there to be four separate games. There should be three maximum, two minimum. I want to do the funny haha. -ha, Trinity glitch. Let's get the puppies early, even though there's really no tangible benefit. The details there. Oh, I messed it up. I think I messed it up. Maybe not. Let me see. Hopefully, sword's in the right place. Oh no, I got it. I had never approached it from above like that, so I was like, "Oh man, I biffed it." Um, let's talk to Leanne about the world that I didn't seal. So you found the keyhole. Uh, what's a keyhole? Yeah, the keyblade locked it. Let's do this fun thing. Look at that, it's just simple flick. See that? Bam, look at that. Look at all the fun you can have. Cage one. Boom. Yeah, flow motion. Pew, pew, I'm doing flow motion. Pew. <laughs> Guys, I hate flow motion. <laughs> I don't hate it, it just doesn't cooperate with the world that it's, it's placed in. Um, but you've heard that by now from me. I made it, I got through like maybe two hours of World Ends With You. I really like the art style and you know, the characters are cool. I just, the gameplay doesn't really grab me. Um, in my head, I had always imagined it as more of like a traditional turn-based thing. Um, I honestly don't even remember how it works. It kind of reminded me of like Pokemon Ranger, I think, where you're like doing stuff on the screen because it was originally on the DS, so I guess that makes sense. But um, I don't know, I played it on Switch for a couple hours and I just I couldn't really get into it, but I'm sure it's, you know, a great game. Chrono Trigger and Kingdom Hearts. I mean, here's the thing, there's no reason. I, I mean, you're right, like, we're probably past it right now, like, in, in 2021. But, like, you know, to go back to 2002, even 2005, like, they could have had Chrono Trigger characters in the game. It didn't always have to be just Disney Final Fantasy. I mean, they expanded it to be Disney Square with World Ends With You, so... You know, get Chrono Trigger, get uh, the Bouncer, Life is Strange, let's get it all. No, not Life is Strange. I love Life is Strange, but that would uh, that would not work here. Um, do you think future ti titles will include any new FF characters? I mean, KH3 would have been the one to do it, right? Um, I mean, I think if you asked me that before KH3 came out, I would have been like, well, Lightning is going to be a shoe in for showing up in KH3, because, you know, they basically gave her like a whole her own sub-series, um, which I, you know, I never played FF13, but I understand that she was the main character of that. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there is still potential for new Final Fantasy characters to show up. I just don't know. It seems like the series, well, I know, I mean, Remind brought the, uh, our core little group minus, you know, Cloud, Tifa, and, and Sephiroth back. Um, so, you know, you never know, but 
I really thought KH3 would have been the time to really, you know, introduce some more new Final Fantasy characters. I can't imagine we're ever going to see Noctis, because that's just going to be way too confusing. You got Yuzora, Riku, and Noctis on the same screen. That's going to be a bit much for me. What Disney World would I want to see in the next game? Um, Treasure Planet. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Um, it's the time has passed. Treasure Planet. Uh, Keynote informed me when I was doing my most recent YouTube live stream that there were files found for a Treasure Planet world in uh, Dream Drop, which infuriates me given the choices that they did go with. It's definitely my pick, but it, it'll, it'll never happen. I do like like Moana as a movie, um, so and I think it's the most likely one, as I've said in the past, so I think that's a win all around. Oh, I finally watched Big Hero 6 the other night. Um, it was fine. You know, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, it's definitely not as good as, like, Tangled or Frozen or Wreck-It Ralph. But that was, like, the last big modern, uh, Disney, um, like, at least canon, like, mainline, uh, Disney movie that I hadn't seen, and it was fine. Yeah, why would they pick Tron Legacy over Treasure Planet? Why would they pick Country of the Musketeers? Why would they even go back to Pinocchio over Treasure Planet? I mean, even, I mean, I, I get Hunchback, it's part of, like, the Renaissance. Um, even though it's, you know, not one of my favorite Renaissance era movies, but I get that one. Um, I'm definitely not gonna, you know, poo-poo the inclusion of Symphony of Sorcery, because that's definitely one of the coolest environments in Dream Drop. You know, I hope we see Wreck-It Ralph in some capacity beyond Union Cross stuff. Um, I think Vanellope is like a shoe in for... If the world's there, she's gonna be like one of the new Seven Hearts, I think. Moana will be one. And then if you're like getting down to the... Is it going to be Merida? Is it, I mean, Brave is, to my knowledge, is not a super well beloved movie. I haven't seen that. I don't know. I just wanted to look at this because I just recently found this out. Chester is hanging out there. Unbelievable. But yeah, I'll say Moana to answer that question in a long winded way. Um, that would be a really cool world. I think Moana or Maui. I think I'd have both of them. Both as party members. That'd be fun. My favorite Disney villain song is Shiny. And. Actually, no. Be prepared, then shiny. I love be prepared. I think uh, um, World Ends With You has a good chance of being in future games. I think with Neo being a thing, and then just like the Shibuya adjacent stuff, um, you know, being included with the Yuzora um, quadratum angle, I think there's a good chance for more Tuiwi. I mean, listen, I'm not like a Star Wars guy, but I really don't have anything against them going Star Wars. Um, They've done, like, what really is the difference between Pirates and Star Wars at this point? Like, I know Pirates started out Disney, and Star Wars was bought, but, like, you know, if Pirates can work, then Star Wars can work. The only thing that's weird is that it's gonna be, you're probably gonna be confined to, like, one planet, or it might have, like, you know, like, in Port Royal, where you have, like, a map, and you have to, like, you know, maybe there's just, like, little contained environments for different planets. I think they can make it work, to be honest. There, There's a lot of creative folks at the wheel. Uh, I think Olympus is done. I think we've really uh, seen the... I mean, people were probably saying that Olympus was done after, like, Cage 2. But, um, I don't know. What what else is there for the game to give us at this point with Olympus? Um, you know, we've seen the Colosseum, we've seen the Underworld, we've seen the actual mountain. We've seen the town near Thebes. So, it's like, I think we're good. For worlds in 1 and 2 that didn't reappear in 3, I don't think we're going to see any of them ever again. Um, I think we're done with the Atlanticas, the Halloween Town, the Agrabas, the Wonderlands. I think we're we're all moving on to because if you if you look at the movies that are included in three, the only one that's traditionally animated, like originally, was Hercules, right? Because you've got uh, Tangled, Frozen, Monsters Inc., Toy Story, um, Big Hero Six, and then Pirates is live action. I really think they're just going to be doing live action CG stuff moving forward. For no particular reason, I just think, like, I think that's the properties that they want to promote now. Um, you know, we're, we have a much better chance of seeing a Wreck-It Ralph or a Moana than we do of seeing a Princess and the Frog or a, um, what even is the most recent traditionally animated movie that's not Princess and the Frog, the Winnie the Pooh, that doesn't count. Um, what was in 2008? 2008 was Bolt, 2007 was Chicken Little, or no, that was Five. Home on the range, like what even 
you know, what even are the are the options at that point? I mean, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I just don't know what else there is to do with it. Yeah, Halloween Town KH1, yeah, Christmas Town in 2. It's like, they're not going to show us what's behind the other doors. You know, they're not going to be given that level of creative control, I don't think. So, um, I think we're, we're good on Halloween Town. But, you know, I'm not going to complain if they can figure out a way to do it and make it fun. Because I love that world and those characters. I think we can see Toy Story again. Um, I think we'll see Fro- we can see Froze again, I don't know if we will, to be honest. But, um... I mean, you got Frozen 2 right for the picking there. I honestly don't think we'll see Pirates again after the Melody and Memory weirdness and everything with Johnny Depp. I don't know the details there, but I guess there's stuff there. Uh, KH3 Toy Story takes place in between 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. If they wanted to do, like, the, uh, the daycare thing, Lotso, that'd be fun. I'd love to, like, get to fight Disney bad guys again besides Davy Jones and, like, the Titans. That, that's it, right, in terms of, like, villains. I know you got Marshmallow. That was, like, one of my bigger disappointments with 3, is that, like, Randall was right there. Um, Mother Gothel. Like, if you can make Maleficent work as, like, just her standard form, I think you can make Mother Gothel work. I know, I wanted to fight Zerg! There's so many Disney bad guys. When I, when I heard about the world, I was like, oh my god, we have to fight Zerg and Randall. It's like, eh, Davy Jones, okay. And I say this as someone, like, I love KH3, but, like, that's one of my bigger gripes with it, is, like, it's missing that real fusion of, like, me getting to beat the shit out of <laughs> Disney characters. Ah! I should just die here. Let's take a break. Time to rob Tarzan of his belongings. Welcome to the jungle. I mean, I would play a, a KH game in the Disney World. Like, it's not like Disney is uh, the draw for me anymore, for sure. I just don't think it'll ever happen. But yeah, if you want to release a, you know, a, I mean, I don't think, here's the thing. I don't think there's ever going to be a Kingdom Hearts game, a mainline one especially, where you're not primarily going to Disney World. That's just not the germ of the series. It's not what Disney would allow. They have a lot of creative control. Um, but I'd, I'd totally play it. I think at most it could be a side game where that happens. But at the same time, I don't hate that there's Disney stuff, you know? Even now, as, as an adult, it's like... I'm not like a big Disney stan, but I still think it's neat. Tarzan, you alright? <laughs> you okay, buddy? He's, uh, that's his eager face. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Tarzan, tell me more. Do more. Do more, say less. I'm entranced. I feel like he could. Oh. Climb the pole, Tarzan. He's just having fun. He's having a wild time. That's what they named the song that. This is the wild time they were talking about. I'm. I'm mesmerized. Alright. <laughs> Tarzan, no, this is a kid's game. Tarzan's got to put himself through Jungle College somehow, all right? All right, let's get it. In the words of Dolan Duck. Let's get it. <laughs> oh, balls. All right, it's not even important. You know, a little bit of detail here. I like that the... Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's really not that cool. It's just something I've never noticed. The uh, little projector thing, it has like a book underneath it to keep it level. That's so... God, you know, I know it's not a big deal, but this game... Makes me happy. I wonder if he can get up here. We're gonna play Roof Leon with support. Ah, he can! He can! <laughs> Famous last words. I wonder if this uh, spotted leopard could get up here. Yes. He, yep. Yeah. He slash she very much can. But can he slash she get up onto the tent? Get up on the tent's roof. Come on. You coward. I bet Jane's in there, like, right now, like, what the fuck's going on out there? Just sees, like, the silhouette of the leopard just plunging into the tent. No! Wait, can't I just, like, warp the uh, tunnel? Goofy move! Goofy! It's like in real life when your dog's in front of the door. How, How could, could you, you do, do such a thing? Now, Miss Porter, it was simply a prank from my YouTube channel. It's not my fault the monkey thought I was trying to kill her. Imbeciles. What am I doing with these imbeciles? I did pee before I streamed. I get excited and I drank a lot of lemonade. 
Oh god, that's not good. Oh! Oh no, I think we were so close. I don't think his hand blast can reach me. Has, or maybe they can? I don't know. His hand blast can't reach me. The eye ones might. But they seem to be getting caught. I think that's what he's doing right now. This is like Remo real estate. Oh no! <laughs> Never mind. I didn't think he'd get up here. Where you at? Where are you? Little circle of X taps, folks. Little dance I like to do with play in. Help me, help. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I need to give Tarzan some items too. Alright, I'm motivated. I'm not allowed to pee until I defeat Clayton. I mean I can, it's my it's my stream, but I would I think he is the only person to bring a real gun. Like Zigbar brings his, you know, goofy little cartoon guns, but this man's shooting like shotgun shells. They're not from like, you know, some forge of darkness or like the world uh, that never was like armory. It's from like a Walmart. Get down here, you coward. Oh, you fuck. Get down here. Oh, the pirates. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. I'm gonna get hit. Help me, help me. What the fuck? You know, man. <laughs> Goodbye to you, sir. Oh, God. This is bad. Everyone's dead. <laughs> get rid of these monkeys. Plan's gonna shoot me, right? Oh, no. Where is everyone, you know? Are we? Is anyone home? Giving up already? Come on, Pat. I knew you were stronger than this lizard. I don't know if I am. I might be weaker than the lizard. Oh, like, oh wow, we killed a self sneak. See, that might be the strat, to be honest. Oh, and he drops items? Holy shit. There's that mega potion I need. <laughs> I honestly had no idea. I really don't think I knew that. Oh, he's fucking done now. You are simply in our house now. Oh, he's gonna heal. No. Oh, <laughs> I was almost so epic. Oh, that would have been so cool if that fire killed to like slide down and then kill him like that. This is what you get from poaching endangered species. There's an environmentalist message to all this. Poached gorillas get fucking abused with a key. Oh, by the way, when I was little, I always thought Disembark was like a place. <laughs> I thought it was like the world's parking garage. I didn't know that um, it meant like that it's a verb. Because and I was just using context clues because any other time you're at a world and you see things, you see the names or nouns of places. I'm like, a disembark has got to be like where you park your gummy ship. You know, I wonder, Ven in uh, Birth by Sleep, when he first shows up in uh, Castle of Dreams, he goes, How did I get so small? And it's kind of almost exactly the same as what Sora says. Sora says, How did he get so small? I doubt it's intentional, but there are like Sora, Ven, Roxas parallels all throughout the series. Like, you get to see all of their bedrooms, for some reason. You don't really ever get to see anyone else's bedroom. You get Riku's dorm room, and come. Let's drink this illegal liquid. Can the grate on the furnace be hit as if it can break? Like this one? What the fuck? I never knew that. Bro, people keep teaching me things. I, I swear to God, I don't... I know it's just a small thing, and I freaked out way too much for what this is. But, like, I didn't know that. Why can you do this? Why is this hittable? Oh man. It doesn't even restore MP or anything. That's so strange. Uh -huh. God, Dolan, have mercy on these things. Wow, he's so powerful. Use Zeta Flare. <laughs> Use Zeta Flare as like the play free bird of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, do I prefer Trinities? I mean, Lucky Emblems are more fun to find. Like, Trinities are not hidden. My love for them is pretty much independent of like any actual reason. <laughs> I just think they're neat. Very Marge Simpson potato hours. I just think they're neat. But I, um, you know, Lucky Emblems are probably, by and large, the better designed elements to the games. Um, I mean, Trinity Limits, like, literally are kind of padding. Um, I like that they do different things and you unlock them. And I think the best thing about Trinity Limits, or not Trinity Limits, Trinity Marks, is that you can see all of the colors from the beginning and you get to wonder what they do and when you'll get the ability to unlock them and you have to remember where they are to go get them. So that's like the fun aspect of that. Like that's, I think what I like about it. Um, you know, the animations are, are cute too, but like in terms of like what you need to do in order to like find them, you know, there's no like skill or observation really involved there. The only one that's like that is like the green one in the treetops in deep jungle, which is bad. It's cruel. Ah, we almost landed on the foyer. Goofy, get out of the fire. It looks so pretty. Goofy, no. We're gonna unlock early Patreon access to Blizzard. 
Dolan, I'm sorry, you've been very good to me this run, but <laughs> goodbye. I don't know why I'm being so rude to my animal companions. Oh fuck! Shit! What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why they cut those voice lines. Um, because they actually, they emailed me back in 2002. Hey, could you give us some, I know you're, you're a good uh, voice actor. Could you give us some voice lines for when the characters are hanging on the, on the, um, enclosed dish shelf in Wonderland? I was like, sure, no prob. And then they fucking didn't use them. Alright, everyone pay attention. The one that drops last, I think, is the one that's going to have the Heartless in it. So these are, they're all going to go, they're going to shuffle and go, bloop, 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 and they're going to fall. Whichever one drops and hits the floor last is the one we want to pick. Most people seem to be saying far right. If it, I swear to God, if one of those animals is in there, you're all banned. You sure? You positive? Well, we're going far right. You know, I've waited so long to get this stream up and running. Um, to hit, you know, a thousand and then, you know, 10,000 subscribers. Um, I thought I was like king of the world, you know, I just felt like I woke up one day and everything was just like rainbows and unicorns. And then for all of you to come in here and betray me in this way, how fucking dare you? You did this on purpose. You framed these two men. And now I have to, I have to reckon with the consequences. It's fine for you. You get, you get to just sit there and, and watch me. You know, deal with this. Okay. Come on. I thought you were my friends, but clearly you're just here to see me suffer. Not that it's gonna be a huge deal. I mean we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hit the cages a couple times and then it'll be fine. <laughs> I wanna free my companions that you guys fucking imprisoned. Um so let's hit Karen. Take this, Karen! Put on a mask! Pay attention to the cage up here. I didn't notice this for my until recently, actually. The cage will lower as you damage the tower. Um, because, obviously, of course it does. See that? Bloop. It's dropping down. Karen's up. I don't need to do this, but I like doing it. <laughs> it's like drinking. I don't need to, but it sure is fun. Look how sad they are. I think it's because they're trapped in a painting. Their portraits change. I mean, it's kind of obvious, I guess, but you might not notice. What the fuck is he up to? What a stupid hat. Look at this dumb hat. What a moron. Whoa, they are fucking jazzed about that one. Yo, he is literally insane here. Maybe it depends on the items that you get, because that was just a potion. They are like, hmm, that's neat, I suppose. But I got like an elixir, and Mad Hatter was like tearing his face skin off. He was like, Jesus Christ, this is awesome. No, my chair. That was my favorite chair in this room. You prick. Get back here. This might be bad. I will simply hide. Take a sip of sponsored green too. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna do that. Alright, you need to calm down. I was, anytime I say calm down now, I remember that video of the lady yelling at the other lady in the car. Calm down? Calm down? It's the funniest shit to me. I'm gonna give you guys time to pull up like a like a snipping tool or like your your um like screenshot. This is a great thing to use on Twitter. Anytime someone has a trash take. Get it right now. Nothing of importance is written. Just start using this. I want it to catch on. <laughs> it's really fun. Nothing of importance is written here. Goodbye. Oh, can we just can we just tackle this? <laughs> I get into so many <laughs> so many comments like chains on the the original 90 facts video, the first Kingdom Hearts related video I put on the channel. Number 17. I know the number off the top of my head. I say, oh, there's this text scene, text bubble scene where Sid's like, things have been disappearing from the shop recently, and these weird noises I keep hearing. Man, all right. Everyone's like, it's the Moogles upstairs. It's not. I mean, maybe, but it's like, there is literally a scene later on in this world that's missable, and I didn't cover it in the video, and that's my bad, because I should have covered it. It is kind of obscure, but I figured most people have seen it, but if I'll show it to you later, but you come here, and Pinocchio's st sitting there, and he's literally stealing. He's stealing from the shop. Jiminy's like, you fucking stealing little thief. Um, he says, things have been disappearing from the shop recently. It's like, it's the Moogles, they're taking stuff to synthesize with. I mean, yeah, maybe, like, off-screen and, like, with no evidence of that, you know, through context clues. <laughs> Number 17, regular Pat. This is a bad video, but it's Pinocchio. Someone argued with me that it's not. I don't know if they were just trying to get a rise out of me. Clearly it's working, because my, my octaves are higher and my shoulders are hunched. But, like, let's just put it to rest. I, my pinned comment on there is, like, please, read the description before you comment about Sid. Pinocchio, Moogles, or any disgusting amalgamation of those three things. 
It is Pinocchio. It was my bad. He's stealing. He's a thief. His hands should be cut off. Hammurabi's law. And that's that. Number 17 had an error. Boo. No likey Patrick. I wish all comments were phrased that way. Game Theory is Pat, the 17th organization member. If you rearrange the letters and add an X to his name, it spells tax p. Is regular Pat not paying his taxes? Fuck, they caught me. Hey, Leon. I found this gummy block. Wait a minute. This is gorilla shit. Why are you showing this to me? God, this town is full of fucking weirdos. Talking ducks. And this kid's trying to show me a pile of shit that he found. This is literally gorilla feces. It took me forever to connect that, like, <laughs> Earthshine summons Simba. Simba is a lion. Leon is associated with lions. <laughs> so dumb. Watch this. So Sid's like, you fucking morons. You don't know anything about space. Bunch of pinheads. Inner space ain't no playground. And Sora's like, yeah, so what? We're fucking dumb. We gotta go there. And he's like, are you threatening him right now? He's like, look at this. This old man's gonna go right in your fucking skull if you don't tell me how to make this happen right now. Whoa, easy. Don't fucking kill me. <laughs> we were joking on the Discord that Sid, uh, Sid likes to install like Linux stuff on your gummy ship without you asking. I don't know why that's so funny to me. I upgraded it to Linux. Fucking Sid, I I told you that I didn't want Linux on the gummy ship. I was fine, now my apps are all messed up. Hey kid, I changed your default browser to Internet Explorer. It's Microsoft Edge now. Wait, what? I don't remember asking for that, I just wanted the navigation gummy installed. It's free. I know you're saying it's free, but it's free in the same way that like the U2 album was free. It's not necessarily a favor you're doing me. Oh dear, this lion got squished into a fucking rock. It's pretty metal if you ask me. Also, I'm going to be super powerful later. What? Yeah, like, I'm gonna take a break for three games, but... I'm gonna be back. And I'm gonna be so powerful. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. That's my favorite line. Everyone must have gone away while I was napping, I think. Um... I used to have that as like my Twitter. I just really, I really identify with that falling asleep and everyone's gone. It, like not just on like a physical, like literal level, but just like on a spiritual. Everyone leaving while I am, like symbolically asleep. I really identify with. It's kind of. I know it sounds. It's it sounds sadder than it is. Uh, it just hits really hard for me. Fuck this chimney in particular. Oh, you know what someone told me in Discord the other day, and this is something that I legitimately didn't know again these honey pots represent all the mini games right and they're all here right now and then as you beat them they fill with honey so like once i do the swing game and the honey tree game they're all gonna fill up with honey and that's how you know if you have done them um to satisfaction to get cheer i <laughs> can't claim being in the capital riots yeah i am taking this country back from antifa miss porter and Antifa slid it by, you see. I was simply saving the country. Um, Merlin's gonna be like, don't go to the save point, because you need to watch the Riku cutscene. You best go see Sid before going anywhere else, or I'll pop a cap in your ass. What? <laughs> Excuse me? I, I I said what I said. You heard me. Oh. Alright. You literally cannot go to the gummy ship. That's right. <laughs> I blocked it with my car. You fucking old prick. Now you gotta go watch a cutscene. It's important. I guess so. Alright. Wouldn't it be so cool if, like, Riku just kind of traveled along with you just for a little bit here? Until Donald says something racist. I'm just saying. If they don't like us, they'll like to leave. Riku's like, whoa. I am not a fan of your short, opinionated duck friend. I know, it's just he has a lot to say. I love that when you talk to Leon here, he goes, don't you have... You don't know, have Sid to talk to? Don't you have to go see Sid? It's like... Okay, kind of a dick move. I mean, he's right here. I just wanted to ask you how your day was going, but... You guys ever hear Maleficent? I hear she's in town. That's weird to me. I always thought that was a weird line. Like, who'd you hear that from, Sid? The Moogles? Are they like Varys' little birds from Game of Thrones? A witch, man! She's a witch! She's also a bitch. She killed my parents. She definitely killed at least some of their parents, right? Like, we're not saying it, but I feel like it's implied. Also, there's a box of potatoes here. She's been using the Heartless for years. My name's Aerith. And this is me emoting. Eris, can you get, like, passionate? Can you get, like, a little angry? That was the angriest I've ever been in my life. Okay. Thanks, Mandy. I've been thinking about the bell in the second district, as one does. It's all boarded up, but nobody can get in there. Well, I've unlocked the power of hitting things with my fucking head, so... Not for long. But yeah, look at this, um... Box of potatoes. 
and box brand box. I think it's so funny that um in the late game, Kyrie just like stands at this table. She's like, well, nobody's like stopped by to give me food or ask me if I'm okay. I've been through a pretty harrowing experience, but yeah, I'll just uh, chill in the small house. That's fine. Let's use the power of concussions. Boom, boom, boom. Goofy could totally solo that, right? Like he doesn't, it's not like Dawling and Sora are softening the planks there. I was saying this before um, in Discord, but I always thought there was like really, it's not consistent enough, but there is like repeated butterfly imagery in this game. We're gonna see it um, on this next panel here. But like, there's butterflies in the deep jungle, um, uh, what's it, the keyhole? There's gonna be butterflies here. And then there are butterflies on the books in the library. And it's just not consistent enough that I think that it was done on purpose. But I was saying like, you know, it could just be like a simple mod to Sora's growth throughout the, um, you know, throughout the game. Like butterflies are always used as like a, um, I think two things, obviously the butterfly effect, which is like doing one small thing can change, you know, the consequences in the future, which I think is also in line with the philosophy and spirit of the series. But then there's also, like, using it as a symbol of metamorphosis and growth. Um, so if it was, like, used, like, you know, two or three more times, I would say that it was done on purpose. But it really, like, has a drop-off after this, and it doesn't really come back until you see them on the books on, in Hall of Ash. And <laughs> it's expression, bro. Ugh, it's a living. <laughs> like, what do you do? Oh, I actually have never seen this dialogue. I saw wooden puppet that moved just like a real person. Oh, that reminds me, we should go look at that scene. Thanks, Discount Titus. Or Titus. You know, he can be Titus, and then Titus can be Titus. So here is, okay, does everyone see this with their eyeballs? Here he is. He is stealing from the store. Sid's not in here. Sid was, was hearing noises. He's coming from here. This little fucking thieving rat. And then you'll turn into an ass. Whoa, Jiminy. Can you say that in this game? I'll say whatever the fuck I want. I have a golden voice. Wait a minute, no. We hate James Cricket on this channel. His charming little attire and his, his soothing voice almost made me forget what he did to me. We will. That's a fun little sort of moment. Or he's like, clearly very, like, not appreciative of um, Jiminy just being like, okay, we're gonna do this, by the way. He's like, alright, I didn't know I was taking orders from the fucking book guy, but fine. Jafar! What does uh, Gilbert Gottfried say? I've looked everywhere. She disappeared like magic. I feel like I could get a Gilbert Gottfried voice if I practiced a little more in my free time when I, you know, I'll, I'll squeeze that in. If you smoked, you could be Gilbert. Thanks, I think. I'm taking it as a compliment. If you smoked, you could be Gilbert. I don't know. Maybe I have to, like, close my eyes. Genie definitely sounds like Homer the most in the bar fight. I'm really sorry about this, Merge. Merge, I'm sorry. The one with the lamp calls the shots. Merge, win Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so stupid. I'm just here for money. Wait a minute, that's not money, that's spider. I always fall for that. IRL. When you think it's money, but it's actually spider. If I had a nickel, the nickel would probably be a fucking spider. What do you think, guys? Press 1 in the chat if we should save the carpet. Press 2 if we should abandon it and just uh, look at this wall. 2? Alright. 1? 2? Okay. Okay, so there's a kind of funny moment coming up. You're gonna hear, so this basically fades into like from a text bubble cutscene into a real one, and Jafar is gonna appear up on this ledge here, and he goes, Aladdin! And like Jasmine turns her head, and Sora has like a delayed reaction where he like looks like three seconds late. So once you hear Jafar, pay attention to Sora's head, it takes like an hour for him to look over. Aladdin. Here we go. Where might I find this? <laughs> I just love it. Sora's like, uh huh. Sorry, I zoned out for a bit. Is Genie allowed to kill Heartless? I mean, he did kill the ones in the desert, so... They don't really count. Oh, Genie. I have deep prejudices. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Genie's politics. Yeah, good point. Genie just takes on the... Whoever Genie most recently impersonated, those are his political beliefs. Genie's probably like a centrist. I think there are compelling arguments on both sides, Marge. Homer, you should really pick a side. Have some convictions. I just think both sides have valid points. They're basically the same. Marge. A stupid bit. Hell, can you wish for, can you wish for a wall around Agrabah? I'm not even trying to sound like Genie. I'm just trying to go Homer. I'm not really good at either. So, you just sound like this. Oh, Merge. Hell, she took the kids. <laughs> wish for my kids back. Genie, Genie, I can't wish for your freedom and for your kids back. 
You gotta pick one. Vengeance, thank you. Vengeance, it's your fault. <laughs> I don't like my friend Sam pointed this out to me, and I, I can't help but agree. Um, <laughs> Aladdin goes to the desert. Come on, let's move. Just like bossing us around. Like I've known you for ten minutes, and you're just like telling me where to go. Like put a shirt on, bucko. Fuck off, sir. Please enjoy a hearty steaming hot cup of fuck off. I can't, can I? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck! Oh, that was the wrong boy. I want to just grab its uvula and just fuck it. That little dangly thing in the back of his throat. All right, let's just let's just get into it. You know, eye of the tiger. Literally, kill the tiger's eyes. That's what that song is about. It's about literally gouging out a tiger's eyes. Peta hates it. Oh my god! I really. I really needed one thunder and it was over. By the way, stream sponsored by a generic, also nice cutscene, right? Generic uh, red fruit punch. How the puppies get into the chests. I like to think in the uh, KH1 timeline, uh, the puppies actually get separated when Cruella has them. So she actually like sees that the world is ending and she just crams them all into chests and then the chests scatter out. Because why else would they be in chests? That would that would have meant that somebody had to have put them in there. And who else could put them in there? But Cruella de Vil. But that's just the theory. Look at Jafar's face. <laughs> just like, peace. Like that, that uh, meme of the kid is peaceful. out. Merge, I don't want to hit you, but I might have to. I hate that episode of The Simpsons where Homer beats his wife. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna die to Jafar's ice! You can do it. I don't think I've I don't think I've died to Jafar's ice since second grade. Jafar is the worst thing you can be in Kingdom Hearts. Bloaty. Do I get my MP reset when I go down there? I honestly don't remember. I don't really want to risk it. Because I don't care about getting the biscuit. Oh no! <laughs> I actually did it me. I just wanted to peer into the abyss. And then it swallowed me. I was going to say. I got the biscuit. Now that I've risked it. And I don't get the biscuit. Wouldn't it be funny if Riku just fucking yeeted Jasmine into the hole? Shout out to my dad who might be watching. My dad thinks this is the coolest thing ever. Even, like, not even just the streaming, just, like, YouTube. He uh, thinks it's real neat. He, uh, he'll often text me with either wanting to know how many subs I have, or informing me of how many subs I have, because he's checked it before I have. He's just a great guy. Fucking love that guy. Very supportive. Everyone is. The whole fan thinks it's neat, but my dad is, like... <laughs> he's a huge fan. Regular dad. Yeah, look at those eyes. He's seen so many of his friends be devoured by shadows. I like this uh, Metal Gear segment that you have to do on Piglet. Dun, 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 dun. This is this is a snake eater right now. We're just like in the uh, the Russian jungle swamp thing. That game does take place in Russia, right? Gotcha. You're pretty good. Fun fact, this is the only video game, mini game in history to measure your score in licks, and I refuse to believe otherwise. Please don't correct me. Um, I want to show, I was talking to you guys last time about the, um, the little Easter egg here, or rather like progression hint. See? So these pots are all here and they're all empty when you show up, but as you uh, beat the games, they fill up with honey, designating your completion of them. So I literally learned that, um, I think someone in a was it in, I was in Discord, or it was actually on the stream, I'm not sure, but they taught me that. I'm still learning new stuff. The music just stops. Like, every time I played this game as a kid, I was, you know, quick enough to just jump down here without, like, lingering, but the music stops, and you're blocked in, you can't go back, ah! Like, Monster without music is just unsettling. It sure is. Is there a way that I can yeet one of them into the... get in there? <laughs> Yo -ho 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 -y. There we go. Oh, we're gonna get Dumbo. Dumbo is basically my favorite summon in a level one, and probably just in a normal game. Because first of all, flight. Second of all, he's a precious baby boy. <laughs> Violet, did you just have that's so funny. Violet just had to permit the term Dumbo because it was like this is potentially an insulting term. Don't call me a Dumbo. That's the worst slur. It's almost as bad as floaty. Revive the elephant. Free him from his Rocky prison. That's the seventh Rocky Balboa movie, Rocky Prison, where Rocky goes to prison for bludgeoning a bystander. Some real weirdos signed up for the games. Well, I mean, 
You let them in, so. Sora, Riku, and Kyrie lived in the real world. What would their favorite restaurants be? Um, Sora would probably have the same, like, uh, taste for food as I do, which is, like, baby, like, chicken, uh, french fries, pizza, um, mozzarella sticks. Like, he tries to avoid a real big boy meal as often as he can, because objectively, all the things I just named are better than whatever fucking stupid-ass salad, chicken parm bullshit everyone's eating. Like, listen, if we all had it our way, we'd all be eating all the things that I just listed whenever. Um, Kairi would probably be like a Panera Bread kind of gal, and Riku, um, it's hard to, it's hard to kind of surmise what Riku's taste would be. I don't like when things get complicated, you know? I don't like when multiple ingredients are involved, and I, um, you know, you can blame my parents for that, because they were, they were cool parents who were like, oh, you don't want to eat this? Well, then you can have something else, I guess. Like, we're eating this, but, like, <laughs> you know what parents <laughs> I love my parents to death, but, you know, speaking objectively, what you should do if your kid doesn't want to eat what you're making for dinner is be like, okay, well, either fucking eat it or go to bed. <laughs> um, but they weren't like that. They were like, oh, okay, well, we'll make something else. Uh, Dolan and Gooby's favorite restaurant would be Chuck E. Cheese, and I realized that I never answered the Riku one. I don't know, Outback Steakhouse? Yeah, I think Riku would probably go for the steak. Bill entering an LGBT club. I need to get ready for the gay! <laughs> That's really good. Fucking Kino. Oh god, I thought we were done. I was like, again, Dolan saves my life. I'm over here scratching my nose, reading the chat, thinking that the match is about to go to the next one. Dolan's like, Bajoom! I gotcha. Oh, I got you to try your first proud run in KH1. The and then what's your ass? <laughs> yeah, listen. You don't get to be a god gamer overnight. It takes like two or three nights. And steroids. Don't forget to eat your steroids! Remember when an <laughs> entire pair of hands signed up for the games? It's like Phil had to have let all like he, he definitely screens all of these. I'm I'm sure all these heartless go through like a urine test. The NC, like Nostalgia Critic, is that that's it's either Nostalgia Critic or North Carolina. Is Doug Walker? <laughs> is Doug Walker playing Kingdom Hearts? I might leave my own stream to go watch that because that sounds fucking hilarious. Doug Walker walking through fucking Agrabah. Why does it look like Vegas? Doesn't make any sense, I don't care! Oh, well, I'm a nostalgia critic. I defeat the darkness, so you don't have to. This keyblade is just a gun. It not look anything like a key. Doug like Walker was like the first like internet personality to be like, yeah, I have a gun. I think for my, uh, another thing that I want to release on my Patreon is like the first time that I did stand-up, which you would think would be a bomb, but I actually fucking killed it. It was like the fucking coolest night of my life. I was just like a high school loser for like two and a half years. And then I did stand-up at uh, my talent show my junior year. And suddenly, people wanted to be my friend. But I didn't forget the real ones, the true homies. I remember after I did that, um, two seniors, two senior girls in the grade above me, they wanted me to do stand-up at their graduation party. And I was like, A, no, because it's gonna be a smaller crowd and I don't want to do that. And B, you never talked to me before this. <laughs> you, you did not even know my name prior to this. I didn't let the fame get to my head. Yeah, I had a solid set, though. <laughs> I was so scared. Because bombing uh, stand-up comedy in a high school of, like, 400 people is, like, potentially the like the worst thing that could happen to, like, a 16, 17-year-old boy. The social repercussions there are massive. Here's the thing. Nobody actually likes Coda the best. If they say that, I think they're lying. You know? It's a bit. But there are people who, like, genuinely like Dream Drop. And that's what scares me. Not like it, but like it the most. Like, I like Dream Drop, it's fine. But to say that it's better than more than three games, ah, uh, it's scary. It's better than Coded in Days. And I guess if you want to count Union Cross. But that's it. I like Bird by Sleep more. My friend Sam, the one from the Melody of Memory, because I have to clarify because my life is surrounded by Sam. Sam from my Melody of Memory podcast, my good friend from college, um, he played Coded for the first time recently and he just hated it. Like, seething hatred. So it was fun to see his reactions to Coded for the first time. Mostly just through text where he was like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Sam's great. Honestly, he's like a huge reason that I started the channel because I met him in my sophomore year of college, and um, I had never met like, like an actual like human being in real life who enjoyed Kingdom Hearts. Like I had like you know, friends in like primary school, like second grade, who like had played Kingdom Hearts, but like were nowhere near as like 
hyped up about it as, as I am, and Sam is possibly, like, more hyped up about it than me. So, he was, like, the first person I could talk to in, like, my adulthood about the games. Um, and I probably would not have made his channel had I not met him. So, thanks, Sam. He's gonna be like, oh my god, shut up. But it's true. We just shoot the shit about this game for fucking hours. Yo, can I just say something about my, um... My, uh... Heartless Compendium video. Okay, there's a bit on the Neo Shadow part where I'm like, Neo Shadows are communists or whatever because they all share the same health. I really wanted to have that... So I have this image of, like, a Neo Shadow on a communist propaganda poster. And I wanted to play, like, the Soviet Union National Anthem. Lime well, alone, thanks for following. I wanted to play that song, and guess what? It's fucking copyrighted. You cannot play the communist Soviet Union national anthem because I guess someone owns it, and I, I would get uh, I get a copyright strike, or at the very least, wouldn't be able to monetize. How is that allowed? That makes no sense. Um, I totally, I would love to play KH1 comfy cozy in my bed or on the go on the Switch. Listen, you could release this fucking game on a poster. I'd play it, I'd start a level 1 as I'm waiting for my toaster shooties to get done. I always wanted to be, one thing I always wanted to be for Halloween and never got to do it was the clown with the tearaway face. I desperately, desperately wanted to be the clown with the tearaway face. Like for a Halloween in high school and just never got it together. The worst room in the game is the lab entryway. Why is it here? Why not just put me right in the lab? What purpose dost thou serve? There is simply nothing to do. No items. And it's boring. Yeah, I think uh, Kingdom Hearts Marvel crossover would have to look like... I think it would have to take place in like the first Avengers movie to keep it manageable. Um, that way you still get like a nice sampling of Marvel characters, but it's not too crazy, and you can kind of keep it contained to like... Is it just New York where that happens? Sam was saying um, New York should just be a world in Kingdom Hearts, just plain New York, but because there are like... <laughs> multiple movies that take place there in the canon, you can just do, like, a super crossover. You have Marvel, you have uh, Oliver and Company, and you got Soul. It's like, uh, big three. I don't want her gadgets nor her gizmos, but I do hear that she's got at least 20 thingamabobs. And that's honestly a bit overkill. You know, I don't think- I think once you have, like, five thingamabobs, you're probably good. I think after that, it's just kind of a greed thing. Now that- you, when you get into, like, the who's it's and the what's it's, you know, I can understand wanting to have a steady supply of those, because you never know when you'll need a, like a who's it or a what's it to get you out of a jam, or even two jams. That's right, if you own more than five thingamabobs, the thingamabobs own you. Thank you for that life lesson there. Oh, by the way, um, you know, I talk about Treasure Planet at least once per stream, because someone usually asks me, like, what world do you want to see in Kingdom Hearts? And I just use that as an excuse to talk about Treasure Planet. I realized, as much as I talk it up, I've not watched it in years. And I just watched it the other night when I was going to bed, and it's still fucking great. I thought maybe in the back of my head I was getting worried, like, is it just nostalgia? No. It's fucking awesome. It's heartwarming. It's visually stunning, especially for 2002. The characters are fun. The only thing that's annoying is, like, Martin Short Robot. I mean, Jim is kind of bland, but he does what he needs to do. He's basically just, like, Aladdin with a mom, and kind of less of a douche, to be honest. Hello, rabbit. I'm here to raise your stash. I'm fiending for more honey. Rabbit's kind of like the proto Squidward, if you ask me. Like, he's not like as outright negative or annoyed, but he's like the responsible one, just kind of trying to do his own, you know, responsible thing. He just wants to have his garden. Squidward just wants to play his clarinet. Piglet's like the Sandy. Pooh's like the, uh, the Patrick, and then Tigger's the SpongeBob. There you go. But that's just a theory. Oh, I love when Piglet eats shit. It's so funny. Why does it make the noise of, like, two blocks of wood slapping together? Eeyore, oh. You know, honestly, Eeyore and Rabbit are kind of, like, they kind of cross together to make uh, a Squidward. Eeyore can be the my leg guy. My leg! My tail! Just a little push. And here we go. You know what I didn't notice, too, about this room until recently? I'll show it once it's uh, is more visible. Besides Eeyore's... I think suicide attempt? Is that what this is? I do enjoy it, honestly. People shit on Vanitas in Cage 3, but like... I know he's- I know Haley is going like so extra. I don't know, he's, he's really fun. He's just such a little shithead. So, Venti Wenty wants to keep sleeping. So, Tigger is just like hanging out in the background here. Do you see his tail? I'm pointing as if you know where I'm pointing to. So, Eeyore Weeor lost his tail. What if Owl was voiced by, by uh, Vanitas? 
Sorry, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. Nope. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. Now I'm turning into, like, fucking Solid Snake. I'll tell you more when you get there. <laughs> the flap of my wings are alerting the guards. Oh, that might be good, actually. That might be it. Holy fuck, we yeeted him! Jesus. In the words of boys to men, not too hard, not too soft. Uh. <sighs> this might be worse than fucking Cable Wonders. <laughs> this bear has rocket fuel up his arse. <laughs> Rue tells Owl to fuck off here, it's great. But Owl, you don't really have any expertise in this field, so maybe stop acting like a fucking know-it-all who just Googles things in the middle of a conversation to make himself seem smarter. And he fucks off, and they cheer. They're like, yes! No more boring tutorials. Also, I say this every time I'm playing this with somebody, but look at Sora's little animation here when he does his uh, fist pump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so emotionless. Oh, bro, you already know I'm going for every single rare nut in this room. Okay. I want to jump into this spidery tree hole. God. God and damn it. This is the weirdest rare nut because Sora... Sora refuses to pick it up. Like, you saw it. I was right on, on top of that nut. I'm, I was all up in this nut, and... This nut, man, I swear. Dodge roll. Orange squid 44? Um, you're a mod now. <laughs> you can't spell patient without pat. You also can't spell impatient without pat, so it's kind of a... giveth and taketh. Okay, Jesus, let's just, um, please... Get this chest here, which is a dark matter that I won't even use. Fuck, god, shit. Okay. See, that rare nut is super easy to grab. I had no problem grabbing that nut. Haha. <laughs> Funny internet man says nut. Where is the last nut? Da nut, 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 nut. Last rare nut. I simply want to find one more rarest nut. How about not looking at the game and jumping over all these rocks and totally owning it? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Epic gamer strats. Don't look at the game, you'll do better. There's another prize that we can get. This is the one thing I forgot about in my treasure guide. There's three prizes you can get in the rabbit hole. There's one on your first visit, there's one after you lock the keyhole, and then there's one after the rescue. And there, these two are missable. Yep, look at that. So the first one's a camping set. This one is a mega potion, not a huge deal, but it is missable. Shout out to Violet. Oh, I had it perfectly. He just didn't grab it. There we go. Bam, that's an early chest. Yo, what is this dog watching? There's nothing on, you fool. Oh, someone told me there was wine in here. I wanted to find the wine. Where is... Oh, yep, there is wine here. I mean, in fairness, the one in Deep Jungle is revealed... What are you talking about? My head is in plain sight. The Deep Jungle wine is literally labeled wine. These might just be decorative containers for old grape juice. Oh, this one follows you around. It's so cute. He is simply my best friend. Look at Sora's fucking confident gait. I lost my contact lens. I made that joke last time. It really does look like he's looking for his contact lens, though. <laughs> I don't know why that broke me. <laughs> I don't know why that really got me. <laughs> okay. Relax, Pat. Fucking Sleepy Saland that almost broke me. Oh yeah, more butterflies here. These are like the same ones from Deep Jungle. At least they look very similar. Abel is, um... <laughs> I love him pick with balls. Toxic coded fans. That is a scary combination of words. Please never say that again. I can't even fathom what that would look like. First of all, you, you would need to have a coded fan. And then you would need to give them so much confidence that they'd be, you know, confident enough to be toxic. That's another thing I'll give one. Heartless, more imposing, better designs. Now, I will admit, like, there is some kind of cool story gameplay integration with, um, like, making the Heartless less intimidating because they're not, like, the more threatening of the enemies. Like, nobodies are, like, the cool, powerful new kids on the block. So, the nobodies kind of retain that same kind of design philosophy that these KH1 Heartless do. I mean, there's definitely some differences. Like, they all kind of... They more they seem more like the same species than all of the Heartless do, but like they maintain that like kind of intimidating, less object-based like possessed item design that uh that the lot of the Cage Two Heartless have like the hot rods and the driller moles and the aeroplanes. 
Oh, Meryl's trapped. You're in my town now, kid. Shock's next. Fucking Lillian! That's all I can hear is little from Rugrats. Lillian! Oh, man. I cannot believe we did that without a death. Last time I did this, I got bodied. These kids were taking my lunch money, giving me swirlies, calling me hurtful names like Butthead and Douchebag. I was like, whoa, where'd you learn that? They were like, Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie taught us all the fun ones. It's like, hmm. Where are your parents? Oogie Boogie is their parent. He is their father and their mother. See, when you say technical sense, like, yeah, it's true, but like, the world design. I mean, everyone always comes back to like, I don't know, this, we shouldn't be doing this right now. <laughs> it's fucking, it's going for midnight, we're four hours into this stream. But it's like, listen, everyone's like, KH2 is an action game, so let's just focus on the action. But like, so is KH1, you know? I think KH1 is an action RPG that maybe has more focus on the RPG, and then KH2 is more focused on the action. But it's like, everyone goes back to, who cares about world design? Who cares about, like, layouts and having, like, layered elements to your to your rooms? It's, it's about a, a game where you hit things. Well, it's like, yeah, so is KH1. It managed to have both. I know some people didn't... I really think KH2 is, like, an overcorrection to things that I really like in KH1. Like, KH1, yeah, Deep Jungle Atlantic, you get lost sometimes. But then KH2 refuses to let you get lost. Like, it won't let you go to the wrong area even once. It'll literally put up an invisible wall and the character will say, not this way, there's nothing interesting over here. KH1 says, fuck you, go wherever you want. You know, figure it out yourself. Um, I just think it... I know maybe some of it is like padding and it's like artificial lengthening of a game, but it's also like just giving some trust to the player, letting them explore. I mean, the thing with KH2 is there's, there's nothing to explore. You know, you see one room, you've seen them all in KH2. They're just different hallways painted different colors. Again, Really good game, really good other stuff, and it's in my top 10. I say this every time I criticize the game, and I, I think you've seen if you've been watching the stream, I have critical things to say about this game too, but let's just go to Oogie before I get in any more trouble. Yeah, exactly, the cavern is the ultimate por qué no los dos. Why not simply have a game that is like the cavern? They could have done it the whole time. What are you talking about? What's a band word? You, you just said, like, is space, space is a band word? I don't know. I can't see what you're saying. Is that an acronym? I don't I don't recognize that. Something that you like headphones? The middle of this level looks like my my what? Hmm. It's got like this layered like color layering thing. It's kinda like cylinder shaped. Um, kind of looks like a, like a spool of yarn. Buzzsaw! I wish someone in my life was as excited for me as Oogie is for his buzzsaw. Fuck, alright, there goes one of our freebies. Damn it, Goofy. Whoa, <laughs> what happened there? What happened there? Oh man, I just got something in my eye. It might be tears because I feel like this is going to go poorly. Sora! Stop showing off your incredible upper body strength. I've honestly thought about like releasing just the raw audio, like the just uncut audio of me trying to record a script because there's so much rage in a script before I edit it. Like when I like my first round of recording, it's just me going, fuck, are you kidding me? God damn it. Anyway, I want to get back to these brats here. So like they clearly don't have parents. You know, if anything, Oogie Boogie was like their adoptive step uncle. Is like the mayor their dad now? Like does he take care of them and feed them? Do they even need food? Yeah, these children don't look like they persist off of, like, normal, um, sustenance. Let's try to get a three in a row and get an arts item. Fire! That was close, we almost lit him on fire without consent. Shiver fire! again, please shiver once more. Fire! Nice. This was the most cooperative white mushroom. I don't think I've ever had a white mushroom that just did all three things in a row. Alright, I already got a fire one, let's get something else. These guys can do the first four spells. Fire! I want the thunder one. <laughs> thunder. All right, one more, please. I hate when they like don't know what they're. They're like, oh, hmm, the weather's no good. Could you please do a fucking charade? These people are watching. Ugh, stop doing that one. Please do the universal. Why are you doing this again? Universal sign for strike me with lightning. This one is the opposite of his brother that I dealt with last time. 
You gotta be kidding me, bro. It's a one out of four chance. Well, remind me not to buy any fucking scratch offs. This man's fucking trolling. Come on! <laughs> Thank you! You think the only goofy are like, Sora, you don't have to yell your battle catchphrases when we're just hanging out. Yeah. This is my theme song. Definitely Kyrie. I finally found her. Alright. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then let's go up and talk to her. Yeah. Sounds great. Such a fun scene. Okay, but first. How about getting off? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Great out of oh, Sora's mouth was not moving there. He like so I love how Hook says what there. That's like a big joke with me and my, my Discord buddies. Wendy's what? So Wendy's not one of the chosen ones? Nope, she's just some regular old girl in a blue dress. Yeah, you know, Neverland is definitely weird first time around. One thing that's really cool that I actually genuinely didn't know until recently is that the room, like the world really is laid out like a pirate ship. Like if you were to take a cross section of the world, it literally is laid out like a pirate ship. Ooh, I wonder if I'm gonna die if I get hit. Famous last words. And we were talking in Discord about like, which characters we had crushes on as a kid. And I, I couldn't think of anything, but I definitely had a crush on Yuffie. I was like, Sora, forget about Kyrie. Yuffie is right here. You can't imagine a fully grown Sora, just imagine Ray Chase as the Master of Masters. <laughs> I kid. See, people are always mean about Terra's like intelligence or like just him like being clueless and like I'll give you that, but we're also looking at the game from the perspective of not being video game characters who understand like tropes. Like obviously Terra, Aqua, and Ben aren't immediately picking up on the fact that Xehanort is evil because they don't understand fiction tropes the way that we do. Right, yeah, and Ericus was not really a good role model. I mean, in a perfect world, yeah, I, I wish that like they would kill people off, but it's also a Disney game. You kind of just have to accept some of these things. Like, I, I see people get, like, truly livid. Like, I had I had a comment on my KH1 vs. 2 video that was like, these games have been shit for, for a long, long time. Like, they're afraid to kill anybody. Like, where, where are the balls on this series? Have you noticed the duck and the large anthropomorphic dog who says, a yuck? Like, let's, can we just, like, recenter? Like, I love this game dearly, but, like, don't take it too serious, you know? That's, that's my, like, huge problem that I have with a lot of content, I'll say. Is that, um, people forget what's going on here. Like, I know this the core demographic is children, you know? It's true. We I know a lot of us have grown up with the series and we're, like, in our 20s now. But, like, it's always going to be marketed towards kids. It's always going to be kid-friendly. It's never not going to be. There are, always, there are going to be dark moments. We're going to see some of them coming up here. But it's like, you know, Disney movies have dark moments. Like... You know, Mufasa dies in Lion King, Sora stabs himself in Kingdom Hearts. Like, there are moments, but, like, this is not a universe that has a philosophy of, you know, death and destruction. It just isn't. Um, once you accept that, you'll have a lot easier of a time just digesting the games, I would say. Yeah, people do die in Disney movies, and that's, that's true. But it's just, I think when you have a, a story that's being told in two hours, it's easier to have characters killed off. I don't know, even like, even though it's all Disney, like each movie, each um, franchise has a different philosophy for how it treats its characters. Like um, two movies that I watched recently, and I'm sorry that I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil Treasure Planet and Soul. Um, Treasure Planet came out in 2002. And you could say this is it's a change of, with the times thing too. But like, well not even really, because I also watched Big Hero 6 recently and they kill off Hero's brother with like in the first no 20 minutes. No, no help from the Heartless. So tell me, how did you get here? I simply swam through space. I did a breaststroke. How did he get here? How the fuck did Beast get here? My friend Sam says that he just like leaping from gummy structure to gummy structure, just holding his breath, which I think is a, a fun image. Anyway, back to my point. Treasure Planet, as a movie, its philosophy is like, yeah, people die. Mr. Arrow gets fucking tossed into the black hole. You know, Scroop dies by the same means, except right side up. Yeah, Clayton, like, and Kerchak, like, they die in those movies. But, like, some movies, like, in Seoul, I thought the movie was gonna end with Joe, like, kind of getting screwed out of getting a second chance. I just thought that that was the, the philosophy of the movie. But then I realized, you know, as he was talking to the, uh, the Jerry's, that this is a forgiving movie. The universe of this movie is a, has a forgiving philosophy. So it just depends. Like, it's just not the identity of the series to kill people 
usually. Like Riku Replica, I think now is the closest thing that we've uh, we've seen. See, even Strelitzia, I don't think is dead dead. And I'm not super well versed in the phone games, but like. Just from knowing how things play out in the series, I don't expect her to be dead dead. I should clarify, everything that I just said is not something that I've thought super hard about. Um, so I can definitely have my mind changed and I'm not fully convinced that I really articulated my point super well. Right, and everyone did die. Like it's Kingdom Hearts is just very fast and loose with what it means to be dead, you know? Because there's so many things that have to happen in order for, for death to be a thing. <laughs> we have canonically watched Mickey Mouse draw his final breath and I'd watch it 10 times over Fuck that rat. I love that. He's just like, fuck this wall. Fuck this wall. <laughs> I know we're not doing any damage to them, but do you think it hurts them even a little bit? Even if it's just their feelings? They're like, ow! That was rude. Uh, Jedi Ouija. You killed me, bro. That's fine, though. Get wrecked. That follow into getting wrecked combo. Beast, no. You have so much to live for. What are you doing? Is this how Beast works out? Just like one-armed jumping pull-ups? That's how he gets his physique. Look at him go. I must complete my training regimen for the day. You go, girl. The amount of time you spend riding this elevator for what you get is just cruel. I'm gonna look at my wrist and uh, you know, count my wrist hairs as we wait for this to be done. It's one of those cage one moments that I can't really defend. Yeah, so like uh, 70 hairs. About past 70 hairs a clock that it took us to get fucking this stupid item, which is an Osmos gummy. Behold, the endless stash of porn. Honestly, the only voice that I truly think is not well done in this game is Aerith. Like, she's supposed to be nice, but not comatose. Yeah, she's atrocious in two, I'm sorry. Don't talk with your mouth full. Haha, <laughs> funny Aerith line. Great, everyone's together again. You know, it doesn't sound great the way you just described it. You can become stronger. It was mine. He's so sensual in this scene. <laughs> Lick my ears, please. It's weird to think about like Maleficent having legs. <laughs> like if Maleficent was just dressed in like jeans and a t-shirt, that'd be terrifying. I have to do this for Davis. One of my patrons was like, please put out the... The uh, pumpkin with Blizzard. You have to hit it, yeah. So you can take back. <laughs> There's a fun fact. No, not laundry! Honestly, I'd always rather do laundry than like wash dishes. Let's rank chores. Laundry, taking out the trash, washing dishes. I don't think it's even a contest. Trash is easiest, but trash is smelly. I'd rather just, you know, involve myself with clean clothes. Dishes over laundry? You're kidding. But, like, laundry, you can cheat laundry. Like, you don't ever really have to put anything into your drawers. You never actually have... I mean, you should fold your clothes so they're not all wrinkled, but, like... You know, once they're dry, if you can at least get them folded, and then just put them in, like, a fucking basket or a hamper, you know, it's not crucial that they end up in your drawers. Dishes over laundry is the craziest take I've ever heard. I hate... I hate touching, like... I have a weird, like, tactile thing with, like, food and, like, wet dish stuff. I don't like that. Especially if it's not mine. If it's mine, I like know where it was and like what it was. But it's like, someone else's dishes is like... I hate that. I hate Tupperware. I hate Tupperware that like used to have food in it. It's the worst. I have very strange um, like things that I don't like. So, here's the thing about this run. Everything gets harder when you fight Riku 2. Unfortunately, we're not going to fight Riku 2 right now because we want to do other stuff. Um, we're actually going to Atlantica. I'm real sorry about this. To quote Genie. Merch, I'm really sorry about this, but I need to go to Atlantica. I showed you my grotto. Please respond. Ah! Sora is simply vibing. Well, that's pretty cool. Sora reacted to that the way that Aerith probably would. Wow, this is great. A shark. A rare species. Everyone's together again. Yeah, something about it not being a Heartless. Heartless have become kind of passe at this point in the game, but... It's like, nope, I am a motherfucking shark. And you will respect that. Ariel, I told you to stop fucking around with random crystals. Bazoom! Bazinga! Oh man, my dad's so lame. 
Bam, bam, bam. You like my swimming style, guys? Eh. Eh. Ugh. I hate their little squelchy, squishy noises. Ah, fuck! <laughs> that was fucked up! I had a long running gag in high school where people always thought that my name was Connor, um, which sounds nothing like Pat. And they were never even really confusing me for a different person, really. So it was a big joke with my friends. It was like a big Squidward uh, Tortellini thing for me in high school. Oh yeah, you're Connor, right? Nope, not even close. Yes, Ursula has been slain. He will never be back ever. Especially not twice. Both times without very good reason. I assure you. This is a permanent fix. I have patched Ursula out of the game. Out of the series. She will never recover. This should kill them all, one thunder. thunder. Oh, it's so satisfying. I'll see you in the ring, Herc. You fucking himbo. <laughs> As I say in the uh, level 1 guide, having Donald and Goofy active definitely uh, increases your odds of survival there. Because he might target them instead with that. I use my friends as sacrifices. I think that's the tagline of the game, right? That's the moral. Have friends so that your enemies may target them instead of you. We've all learned a good lesson today. Surround yourself with loved ones so that they may be exploited instead of you. The fact that Cloud and Sonic the Hedgehog can fight in the video game. Not so fast, Cloud! Sorry about your girlfriend! Can you imagine Sonic just taunting Cloud about the death of Aerith? Sonic, you may run faster than light, but can you run faster than the darkness? Yo, crap it, master! <laughs> I'm gonna do the best I can! That's like my favorite Disney villain line. I'm gonna do the best I can. What are you going to do? I'm gonna do the best I can. <laughs> it's so good. Ogie's so fun. Ogie and Captain Hook in this game are my favorites. They're both so extra. They're just showmen, you know? Like, they're evil, but they're trying to, you know, at least entertain you at the same time. If I were Sora and I said see ya when I cast the spell and it didn't kill the enemy, I would be so embarrassed. I'd be like, ugh. I thought that was gonna be the last thing you heard before you died. And now we're just, like, both here. I cast fire and said see ya. You're alive. Pissed off that I just lit you on fire. Ugh. Awkward. Take that, Sean Astin. Take that, Bob, from Stranger Things. We're gonna watch this cutscene because it's funny how long Sora takes to respond. Turk's gonna say, Wow, I didn't even hold back! And Sora's gonna look at him like this for like four seconds. Wow! And I didn't even hold back! Now I finally know what you mean about Why does he take so long? <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking about Jasmine from Agrippa. Yeah, he's a lazy bum. Sora, you lazy bum. Wake up. Give me a break, Kyrie. I knew that I'd find you snoozing down here. This big black thing swallowed me up. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't... Ow. Are you still dreaming? It wasn't a dream. Or was it? I don't know. Hey, Kyrie. Uh, what's the next line? Line. What was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I told you before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. You ever want to go back? Um, well, I'm happy here. Really? But you know. I wouldn't mind going to see it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, say that. I want to see it too, along with the other worlds out there. I want to see them all. Hey. Aren't you guys forgetting about me? So. Donald definitely not helping, just grabbing both of our asses. That's fine. i have to file a complaint to HR about that. She's disappeared like magic. I didn't really look that hard. But as far as I can see, she's gone. It's like, no, she's just hiding behind a, behind a stall. It's like she just disappeared. Okay, good. Not being boring. I hate being boring. I hate being bored almost as much as I hate being boring. If you help me hit a Patreon incentive, I will never be boring again. Like, even when I'm not streaming. Like, in my day-to-day -day life. I will do everything to the extreme. Let's say... 500 bucks a month, I'll never be boring again. I won't, you know, if I'm doing, like, taxes, I'll, like, do it while, like, doing a cartwheel or something. Right, this is my... My seated cartwheel, I guess. Just wiggling around. And, um, they have the, uh, rock candy from Avatar consuming them. The rock candy from Avatar! I really, I really want to get a Gilbert Gottfried down. So, funny story, I've mentioned this on my Discord, but... What, so I was, like, YouTube trending gaming content creator for the week. It was, like, last week of January. I just got, like, a YouTube notification. I was like, guess what? You're trending, and you are the rising gaming content creator. I was like, oh, okay. Cool. 
and then they actually tweeted, they like, you know, tagged me on Twitter, they were like, okay, Subpar Pat's me, that's my Twitter handle. A regular Pat, he's like this Kingdom Hearts content creator. Um, he's a great source for Kingdom Hearts content. And um, they used the gif of me just like, cheesing Riku. <laughs> it was me like, here, one sec. It was me just doing this. Wait. This is the gift they used. <laughs> it's so funny. It would have been really funny if they used the gift of me playing like Cage 2. <laughs> and I, I wasn't being taken for the record. I was obviously grateful that they did it at all. I just thought it was funny that that was the gift that they picked. Good visual cue is actually to watch Sora's feet, and once he's done doing his little craps backwards, that's when you hit again. I'm noticing this just now as I play it. There we go. I'm gonna try to aerial assassinate Kyrie. Here we go. Requies got in Pachi. Yeah. Aw. It never lets me kill her. Tell me what happened. Well, basically, um, there was like this room that fucking like flipped upside down depending on which way you entered it. Um, a fucking cat like made this like big Jolly Rancher monster fall from the sky. Um, 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 um. There was a big dog, like a goat that kept saying the games. Then what happened? Um, there was this ape man. He had dreadlocks. He was white. It was kind of weird. Um, you kept speaking in like symbols. Uh, then what happened? Uh, Brian Blessed was riding a, a lizard of some kind. Something happened with copyright and then he died. Um, let me. Could you imagine if you just explained the whole thing? What is Cloud doing? Beats me. Why don't you check him on Snap Map and see if he's visible to you? Cloud very often hides his position on Snap Map for me. It's almost as if he doesn't want me to know where he is. I love slash hate how Sid turns around there. They really didn't even try. And then I went to this book. I eat this stuffed bear. <laughs> um, Jafar's mouth didn't move. I beat up some third graders. I had to grab a dolphin. Leon's like, whoa, 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 slow down. Go back to that part with the cat. What color was the cat? It was like pink and purple. It was a weird cat. He spoke very strangely. Jafar said, shabba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. What the fuck is a Jafar? Slow down. There was a man on fire, voiced by James Woods. Um, um, and then? This green-skinned lady tried to kill me? You mentioned uh, a Princess Jasmine. I want, I want to hear more about her. Leon, it's really not the point of the story. Yeah, but you said that you could see her midriff? Yeah, I mean, yes, it's true. Did she, was she seeing anybody? Leon pestering Sora if like any of the single, if any of the women he's met throughout his journey are single. Did she say anything about me? I like the bit of Leon um, trying to hook up with somebody else through Sora. If you just like, you know, let them know that I'm I'm looking. Leon, she's like 15, I think. She's my age, not your age. You're like 26. No, not them. They're boring. Have you heard Aerith? She makes me sound excited. I'm gonna go install Linux on your ship now. No, Sid. <laughs> Have you heard Aerith? She speaks like she's doing one long, consistent yawn. <laughs> and then I met an old man and a puppet. The cricket knew him, don't worry. Oh, okay, good, I was wondering. And then you built a house for them? That was really nice of you. Riku said he had unfinished business with a puppet. I tried not to think about that too hard. I don't really want to know what he meant by that. To be able to like experience a Kingdom Hearts game blind with you guys. Like if I was streaming for KH3, you would I would have been popping the fuck off. Like, think about how animated you've ever seen me. Like, you know, I've maybe been at like a 6 at most here. Both in stream and like on YouTube. I was at like a 12, you know? But yeah, KH3, if you, if you guys got to see me play that blind, I was just like, freaking the fuck out constantly. And then I had to climb the fucking castle again? Wait, that didn't happen yet, I have to do that later. <laughs> I just want to know what happened at Hollow Bastion. The other worlds hardly even count. One of them doesn't even exist anymore. Sora excitingly explaining his journey to Leon is really amusing to me. And then after this, I'm probably gonna get tier 3 healing magic. Fuck knows how I know that. I'm gonna have to talk to Aerith three times, and that's gonna be really boring because she's not gonna emo at all. Peach Cat! Thank you for following. Fuck off. Not you, Peach Cat, the Air Soldier. Let me be clear. Let me be clear. I was merely speaking to the Air Soldier. I was like Obama turning into Joe Swanson. My fellow American. Remember the time when uh, Peter and I uh, saved the princesses? This is our childhood home. We wanted to see it again. Okay, I wasn't really asking you. <laughs> they really kind of threw this out. We'll never see each other again. Bye. And Sid's like, I don't worry, I've you. unlocked the lore, to. so you can do it instead. Instead of <laughs> this cutscene meaning anything, I will simply make it so it doesn't. We may never meet again. But we'll never forget each other. Unless, of course, you go into a castle where there's a witch and she fucks with your head. Uh, you know, but that's an extenuating circumstance. Other than that, 
we will never forget each other. Ariel doesn't have, uh, she's not a princess of heart because she has no feet. And that is obviously racist, but 2002 is a different time. Yeah, I'm telling you that Ansem is specifically into feet. One of my requirements is that the girls all have feet. It's the rest of Ansem's report. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so boring. Sorry, I put myself to sleep. You have to talk to me twice. They should have done a nose boop there. Why no nose boop? Bad game. Here's my son. You know, my favorite, honestly, you know, the video, great, whatever, you know, wrote the script, was, was you know, happy with the script, but, um, the improv, me tricking people into, uh, believing that I had a human baby is some of my favorite content on the channel. This is about as much responsibility as I can handle. And, if you follow or donate right now, you should be able to hear the noises on your end. Um, I had to fiddle with some settings, but if you follow, you should hear the Destiny Islands jingle, and if you donate, you should hear the chest opening noise. Go to, a. Uh... Oh, see? There you go. Did you hear the noise? Did it happen? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, it's all coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. And then if I'm ever hosted, it's the Moogle going... Um, but Sora, the Sora thing is like... Hey, Chain, thanks! <laughs> But uh, in that in that show, he slips into his sore voice. He's like, "Do you think I like swabbing urethras? Guess it depends on the urethra. Nope, they're all bad. But I do it just the same because it's my job. And it's actually really really important. Unlike your job, which can be done by a Roomba. When I get to that like really really important, I can like I was like that one time I was able to hit that like cage two ish Sora, but I've never been able to get back there. Nope, they're all bad." Do you think I like swabbing urethras, Ventus? Try to say something Xemnas would say. So, there's a joke with my my one Discord server about, um, there's the truck that's crashed into Memory Skyscraper, and we like to think it's, like, Xemnas' truck that he took for a spin, and he... <laughs> so he goes, My truck ruined. Now I will have to refinance. I was just about to pay that one off. My car insurance was almost eternal. Alright, not that we really... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Corin, thank you. Donations now exist. I was like, oh no, oh god, the audio is delayed because I, I just, like, uh, got an item. And then I heard the, um, the item noise. I was like, oh shit. But now that I have to explain, like, what my major source of income is to friends and family, it's like, alright, so listen. There's this fucking kid on an island, he gets this key and, you know, there's a... You know Donald? Donald, yes, Donald Duck. So, <laughs> and that just kind of goes from there. Gosh, I don't like when there's no music. It makes me just sit there alone with my own thoughts. I don't like thinking, Sora. The bad thoughts are back. The regular, for the record, is just supposed to denote my my ordinariness. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, it's, I didn't even hear the noise that time. Are you are you sure on that? You sh uh, did you click zero one more time accidentally? Uh, okay, thank you. Don't cry on stream. Lump in my throat. Lump of horror. It's a lump of joy. <laughs> let's, uh, let's breathe. Let's breathe. Let's arrow. Aroga. All right. I'm not trying to be Eugene Krabs. Uh, I, I, merely if I could just be a SpongeBob. Oh, Irish Mike. <laughs> $50 from Irish Mike. Thank you. Wow. My hands are sweating. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um... It's gonna be so difficult to explain this all to my grandparents. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like the one contingent of family members that I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to. Every time I get like <laughs> a large sum of money, I'm like, what is Graham gonna think about this? I quit a government job. <laughs> Honestly, my philosophy on like, you know, burial traditions is the Frank Reynolds, the, uh, the Phil of Olympus Coliseum, which is, when I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. You know? Do whatever you want. I also don't want to, like, a funeral, it's gonna, you know, if I ever have, like, nieces or nephews or whatever, and I die on, like, and they have to go to a funeral on, like, a weekend, fuck that. I'm not gonna bother my nieces and nephews when I, in the great beyond. And also, could you imagine, like, being at a funeral and desperately having a shit? I would hate that. I'm not even gonna give anyone the opportunity to have to go through that. I've told my friends, like, 50 different things that I want them to do if I die before them, including, like, just launching me fully nude into the atmosphere. I think that'd be funny. To be honest, and it's gonna come as no surprise, I'm sure, but I like the, the one system more. Two 
makes it so that like curing is like you get one of those and then you, you gotta wait for the cooldown. But like I really like that in one you can um, hit things to replenish. I think there's like a fun risk versus reward element of having low MP, but like if you need a cure, you can go in for um, you know some more hits to replenish it. Anytime risk versus reward is a thing, even despite being a big coward man, I tend to like that more than just like it's not fun to cure and then you're not allowed to use any magic until it refills. Like, if Cage 1 had a penalty where, okay, cure is always going to cost your full MP, then fine. But, like, at the very minimum, in a Cage 2, you should be able to hit things to replenish it. But I also feel like it's less dangerous to go in and hit things on Cage 2. You have more mobility options, so, it you know, it's not something I've thought about in depth, but that's, like, my initial stance on it. Don't give up. You got a reason to live. Don't let go. You only get what- That's my favorite. That's one of my favorite one-hit wonders from the 90s. Um, yes, I have a list of favorite one-hit wonders from the 90s. Like Pulsita by Harvey Danger, which you might not know from the name, but it's, um... I'm not sick, but I'm not well. That one. It's a little obnoxious, but I really like it. Disney wasn't fucking around. They're like, we've been here for three years, make movies for three years. Here's Satan. Got ready for Satan. So yeah, I mentioned it last time, but if you, uh play through the game without ever going to Atlantica, you have to do this part. So Sora could just potentially show up here with his legs gone, and no one ever explains what the fuck that was all about. Donald, wake up. We're about to do lore. Donald, there's lore. Donald! Yes. <laughs> For Lord of Light shall unseal the path. Seven arts. One key hole. One key to the door. Hey, Peter, the door to darkness. It's over here. Tied by two keys. The dark door opens. Now here are two invisibles. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Locked in a room with a, a duck, a dog, and a big jacked darkness entity. Just another Thursday night for a regular path. Here we go. Ah, I'm fire, I'm fire. Oh, no. Sora, remember when we watched Peter Pan just fucking die? That was nuts. Goodbye, Pan. You've Petered your last Pan. Top 10 claim quotes. Now, Miss Porter, what am I doing with these imbeciles? Um, can someone figure out how I get on, like, the, the uh, podcast? <laughs> Super Spike Yeti Bros. I just want to do a podcast. I'm doing Keynote's podcast next month, but I'm getting antsy. Someone invite me to a podcast, for God's sake. That was the whole point, was to get invited to a podcast. Can't you guys do, like, that attack where you kill yourselves? That'd be pretty pog. Do not endorse suicide. I just want these spiders specifically to commit not alive. Whoa! Super Spike Candy Bros. Oh my god. Who reached out? Yo, the raid. This is my first raid ever. I'm beaming. I was just saying. I want on. Thanks for following. I want on. Please reach out to me. Nice, nice. Let's go. Let's go. Man, somebody really hurt my feelings today. They said that... They said that my beard was shit. They said, damn. You really keep that shit on your face, huh? I said, I, I corrected them. I said, um, excuse me. This is hair on my face. Not shit. Fun fact. Didn't actually hurt my feelings, but... Then I... And what sucked is, like, I had just trimmed it. I don't know if you guys noticed, like, it's a little bit shorter. I was like, oh man, they're gonna think that this this guy won. Come on, Guy Fieri. Go back to your... Your fucking grocery games. 39 seeds, 3 party members, 1 survivor. There you go. For those 3 people who will appreciate that. People are hard on, on Titus. I know it's Titus, whatever. Um, but I like him a lot. I think we're both, like, whiny boys who just want to go home and are particularly religious. That's kind of, like, our thing. So I have kinship there with him. I'm not very athletic. He's got me there. Um, I also don't wear shorts like an idiot. Typically, if I buy a pair of shorts, both of the pant legs are equal in length. Back to the pound, you dirty mutt. I'm gonna send you over to Sarah McLaughlin commercial. Aubrey Monroe, thank you. Uh, Aubrey Monroe. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Uh, honestly, that might have been the run action. <laughs> That's a rite of passage, me getting hit because I read your name. We're actually gonna die, because Goofy did just burn our elixir on us, and we're pretty early on, so let's just, uh, let's run that back. Fuck me up with that heat-seeking worm thing, fam. <laughs> oh, great. I don't speak fairy. God, I... You know, there was an elective on Destiny Islands, and I was like, I don't think that'll ever come in handy, but... Clearly, it's important. What if Tinkerbell... Game theory. What if Tinkerbell is actually leading us to our death? I gave a copy of KH1 to the Pope. He said, I honestly prefer two. The combat's just better. I don't really care about exploration. 
And that's when I denounce my Catholicism. <laughs> that's just a bit. Don't take it too serious. It's my drugs and I'll use them how I want them. No, Goofy, you're simply holding them for me. Yeah. Like, Kyrie trains with Axel in this, like, hyperbolic time chamber. And then gets her wrist grabbed and she's rendered useless. I will simply defeat this girl by grabbing her wrist. I'm so good. I'm so OP. Oh no, Gooby. Let me save your life real quick. Afraid your dog only has 12 seconds to live. That's oddly specific, Doc, but okay. And now what? Ugh. Oh, fuck. I definitely knew curse words before third grade, but I didn't have the, the gall to say them prior to that. But I remember in fourth grade, I was really scared because my teacher definitely heard me say fuck and like parent conferences were like the next day. I was like, please don't tell my mom that I said the fuck word. That's all I could think about. I doubt my mom would have even cared that much. They were like, cool, we also say fuck. That's probably where you first heard the word. I do impression of Goofy doing your favorite video game dialogue lines. Let's see. Well, one of my favorite dialogue lines is, uh, boil! But, uh, let me think. I can just do the Ansem speech and, and I can try to do it in a Goofy voice. I don't really do a good Goofy impression. I just do a generic, like, dopey voice. But, um... Take a look at this tiny place, Sora. For the art seeking freedom, this island's a prison surrounded by water. And so this boy... This boil! Come on! I'm here to heal shit up. Censored fuck but said shit. Yeah, one of my favorite internet videos. I don't know why I said internet videos like I'm a fucking lady from the 50s. You look up like tech TV guy breaks priceless object. Just like this 20 second clip of this guy showing off some kind of hardware. And he's like, see, this is like a one of a kind. And it's really cool because then he just like fucking breaks it. And he goes, oh, shit. Like he censors himself from saying fuck and then says shit. It's so funny to me. <laughs> That's a funny internet video, Deborah. Say hi to the kids for me. See you at the bake sale, the PTA meeting. Oh no, Landon has, uh, he has swim later, so we won't be able to make it to to Crandon's basketball game, but maybe at, um, Schlandon's piano recital. Fucking every name nowadays is some kind of Andon or Aiden. I feel like I'm like an old man complaining about the youth now, but like, Jesus. Big invisible hours here. Yo, when Sora said this should help, I thought he said Ishimoto. Shout out to David Russell and Kino. They love Ishimoto. I keep trying to tell both of them, like, Shimamura is the best composer. And they're always saying, no, like, Ishimoto's underrated. You have to actually, like, really listen to, like, he works a lot of, um, motifs into, like, his tracks. And they just don't get it. I'm gonna be on a podcast with both of them, and I'm try to convince them that Shimamura is, in fact, the best composer. Yeah, you think Clayton and Stealth Sneak discuss, like, the, the game plan, or Clayton just hops on and Stealth Sneak's like, alright, I guess this is happening. Kind of an invasion of my personal space. I'm simply going to mount this Stealth Sneak, and whatever happens, happens, Miss Porter. Clayton is the mom. My eye to be exact. Ew. Oh, you think that's gross, do you? M I C K E Y M O U S E Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Dog shit. Horse shit. Cow shit. I'm simply looking for Cloud. He owes me twenty dollars. If you see Cloud, tell him he owes me twenty dollars. He has my Venmo, so I don't know what the hold up is. I had a really smooth brain comment on my last video. Someone was like, Oh, buy pride? Just because I like men and women, I, I get to be proud about it? Well, I like tacos. Where's my flag? Well, people who like tacos have never been historically oppressed, you dumb fuck. So I deleted the comment. <laughs> yeah, if there were if there was a history of oppression against people who enjoyed eating tacos, then yeah, I guess you'd have a point. I think they were just mad about the concept of, you know, pride flags or whatever. God, these people have been fucking shit on for years. The least you could give them is a fucking flag and a parade every now and then. Christ. People are so greedy and stingy. It's mine. Why can't why can't I have something special? Oh, yes, thank god. Uh, it's over. We actually beat one of the super bosses. Very good. That was a good one. Complimenting myself. Chad moves. Oh, speaking of Chad moves dying. This is gonna be done. God damn it, Grandma Sora. Tell me more about the 50s, Grandma Sora. Jesus, let's just roll right into the fucking icicles, Grandma Sora. Oh, it's so pathetic. See how he gets like a lot of iframes from slipping, though? That's the one good thing about it. That's death. What the fuck? We're gonna take a quick break. 
during my break. I went outside and just fucking punched some snow because that can't fight back. Cat use an elixir challenge. Cat get hit challenge. Cat get an icicle enema challenge. Ugh! Death. Death. Let's just die. Ah! Baited! Baited by the Iceman! Ah! Get him! Oh, that was good! Grandma strats! Bake sale strats! Cataract strats! Oh, fuck me! That was so good, too! Wait for the snowball! Get owned by the snowball! Fuck! Ah! <laughs> Call me Zepta, Lois. I am a nobody now. Hey, Peter! Don't let the darkness take over, Peter. I'm using my ultimate form! Joe, with legs! Where does Simba have to be, you know? What do you have going on, Simba, that you can't stick around for a couple more minutes? Or look at your dead dad. That was harsh. <laughs> I feel like I was just too mean to an animated character. But, like, really, like, what, you have a busy schedule today? Back in your fucking rock? Thanks, Dolan. Donald doesn't heal me. Except for when he always does, because he's a homie. You know what? People who complain about Donald not healing them are people who, they bitch about every red light and they never celebrate when they get the green one, you know? You gotta celebrate the green lights. You can also, like, make Donald heal you by locking off of the enemy, at least in KH1. Lock off of the enemy, press triangle, that directs your party member's attention to you. Now, in fairness, the game never tells you that. You have to have the manual. But, I mean, there's only four face buttons, you know? Test them all out, kids. You might be surprised. Back in my day, we just pressed buttons to see what happened. How you guys doing? You get bored of this? Do you want me to do something else? Sorry that I'm not so good at the game. <laughs> get better. Kenobi for you, man. I hope I can do this with my feet. $50 if I try playing with my feet for like two minutes, I'll do it. After this fight, if I don't beat him, which I won't, we're gonna try it with my feet. What? Sora! He didn't heal! Alright, feet time. I wonder how I should do this. I mean, I might be able to win like a mob fight with- actually, on level one, impossible. Let's just test it out on some mobs. <laughs> Knoble, $50, play with your feet, Lamau. <laughs> Here, let's, let's try to beat this defender. Dolan, help! Thank you. Dolan, help again. Cool, he's using magic. Oh my god, we beat a defender. <laughs> I'm on top of the world, let's go. I'm gonna keep my, keep my hands where you can see him. Goofy did most of the work there. Ooh, great strat, Dolan, we got this. Strike raid. All right, whiff it. Cool. Trying to use the triggers with your feet is nigh impossible. <laughs> oh, we got a wizard. We got a wizard. You want me to try unknown with my feet? I mean, that's up to you. I feel like that's just gonna be me dying immediately. Hard part's over. It's all it's all cruising from here. Heals immediately. So, that's predictably how that went. Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Let's watch him fucking die. And by that I mean, fuck off the Kingdom Hearts 2 where he belongs. Slip, slip and fall Sora. Sounds like a fucking doll from the early 2000s. Introducing the slip and fall Sora. Fucking throw him onto a greased up floor with Crisco and watch him bust his ass and sue the, the building. Where am I going with this? I'm into oh no! Oh, we really were so close. Do you still hear that? Do you hear that? <laughs> Hip assist, thank you. I still hear the ice breath. Excuse me? Is that it? Oh yes! Yes, baby! Let's fucking go! This one we're watching in full, because I like this. Just like me, Sora attempts to defeat the boss with his feet. Are we get diamond dust now? Oh no! I'm not into feet stuff! Run! <laughs> Alright, see? A little bit of perseverance. Oh yeah! Hear that swinging noise that wasn't synced up because I skipped the scene? Why is Mickey Mouse sending letters to Rabbit? Hmm, what's going on? Rabbit's the seventh light confirmed? Rabbit, is it true? I-I-I-I I don't know! Mickey x Rabbit? Mickey cheating on Minnie? The plot thickens. Ah. <sighs> Well, this is it, guys. This is the riveting content you came here for. I simply need more drugs. More, more! I hope you save the ones I'm after, bitch. He just throws a bitch in there sometimes. I'm the mom. My eye, to be exact. 
Oh, you think that's gross, do you? Hot take? Here's my hot gaming take. There's not a single Sonic the Hedgehog game that I have enjoyed in my adulthood. I liked Sonic Adventure 1 when I was a kid, and I went back to it, I was like, ugh. Sonic Adventure 2, the the, uh, the Sonic levels are fun. Sonic Heroes, it's fine. Um, I don't even like the originals. People are like, oh, those original Sonic Plap, like, I don't like those. The whole, like, when you have this game, and maybe I'm just too smooth brain for it, it's entirely possible. Feel free to make fun of me. But, like, <laughs> when the point of the game is to, like, go fast, and then you got fucking spikes coming up out of the ground, like, isn't it just, like, trial and error, like, remembering when there are spikes? I just, I, you know, I beat Sonic 1, I got, a, like, a good way through Sonic 2, and I was like, I, I don't like these. Like, if you want me to have momentum and go fast, but then you're gonna throw some bullshit at me that I could never predict on my first time through, and then, like, slow it down with, like, bullshit water puzzles, I'm not having fun. And you know what? Sonic Generations was the one that everyone was like, no, this is a good one, this is good. And I first actually went through it in its entirety about two years ago, and I fucking hated it. I hated that game. I think I would give it like a 2 out of 5. I couldn't stand it. It's like my hot gaming take, besides KH1 over 2, I guess. You know, I will I will concede that Sonic is, is an acquired taste. I'll, I'll give it that. I can I see the appeal, right? I get it, but there's just not it's not consistent enough for me to enjoy it. Shadow of the Hedgehog is like one of the funniest games I've ever played. There's that too. And here's the thing, Shadow of the Hedgehog doesn't know it's funny. You're laughing at it. As soon as I hear Goofy yell Sora, it's like, nope, that's not what we want. He's so quick on the draw. Like, normally that would be such a good boy move. But we do not want him to use elixirs that, that early when we have full MP like that. Do you see what's missing? How did I not save? How did I not save my game? How did I not create a save file that overwrote the save file without diamond dust? <laughs> Who? Hmm. Fuck. What's wrong with me? How do you not save? Not only do I not have the elixirs, I don't have diamond dust. <laughs> Listen, I think we're just not going to see Phantom. We're just not going to see it. I couldn't, when I saw that we were spawning in the Coliseum, I was like, you dumb fuck. And I was like, I was like two seconds away from saving in Neverland. I was like, wait, I'm going to exit and then come back in and save. Terrible. Our only chance at Phantom was diamond dust and it's gone. That means, that means having to beat Ice Titan again. It censors what? I see asterisk dot asterisk dot asterisk dot. What is that, uh, some kind of government agency? I don't know what that is. It's a word for something you wear on your head. Like headphones? I don't know. Am I being funny? I try to be funny, but I didn't think I was being funny just now. My what looks like a cowboy what? No comprende. Auto mod is what phobic? Multicolored. I don't know, my headphones are like red and black, I think. I'm not I'm not doing a bit of any kind. I would never gaslight my viewers. Headphones. Other than headphones, I mean my hair. Under the headphones would be my hair, and then under that would be my head. And then under that would be my skull. Come guardian, protector of the sperm bank. Bad joke. Ha! Ah, shit. That was like the most genuine rage. That was like real rage right there for like a split second. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Also, damn. Um, bitch and bastard. Cock. Dick. Fuck. Okay. I'm just getting mad. I'm just getting mad. I'm just like, fuck you. Fuck you, die. Oh my god, my dog's here. My actual St. Bernard. Do you see her? That's Izzy. I thought my door was closed. Izzy, what are you doing? Izzy. <laughs> I'm trying to defeat the darkness. Izzy, give me strength. Come on, Izzy. Let's go back downstairs. <laughs> I followed. She's gonna eat my food. I have food on my desk here. I'm sorry. Sorry, I just felt really good about this run. I was like, Izzy, Fire! I really appreciate the moral support, but Fire! locked into place. Fire! Locked into death. Fuck me running. Streams rated PG for cats. 
goddamn angry. Goddamn angry is one word. You're right, I should have kept her. I should have known Izzy would have a stronger following than I. I mean, I don't eat my own shit, so... I don't know if that changes anything of your in your opinion. Dumbo floaty fuck. Get shot. Fuck. Fuck shit. Behold the endless abyss. Look as hard as you are able. You won't be able to find a single shred of skill in here. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Or maybe. Maybe for me. Let's call two ambulances. Let's call two ambuli. One for me, one for him. <laughs> Yo. Let's fucking go. What a garbage piece of shit. It's time to get Mushu, you fuck. Die, handsome. Let the darkness die. Let the darkness die. <laughs> we did it. Bye bye, see ya. Thanks, not Eddie Murphy, because we couldn't get you for the one line. I am now a Twitch affiliate. I am affiliated with the website twitch.tv. My um, channel dashboard. Oh, hey, whoa. And to share up 350, there's the noise that you hear. Did the noise come through all right? But off stream, I defeated him again. Actually, I got him on my second try, so I definitely got better at the fight uh, through streaming it. Seems sus, what do you mean? <laughs> if I wanted to lie, I would have just said that I got it on my first try. I might do like a goal of some kind because we were trying to fight the unknown and I joked about like, oh, like I'll play this with my feet because it was uh, Kenobu had been very, very generous with his donations and he was like, I'll give you 50 bucks to to attempt it with your feet. So um, I was trying to, I actually managed to defeat like a defender and a wizard using just my feet on the controller and uh, I was like, this is actually kind of fun. I think it'd be fun to have like some kind of either Kofi, Patreon or, or Twitch goal where it's like get to a certain point. I'll try to play through as much of Cage 1 Beginner as I can, using just my feet. Yeah, fire on triangle, because fire shoots from you out, like a triangle. Starts here, goes out, like a triangle. Pew! That's how I think of it. Yeah, London's probably like, what the fuck is going on up there? The Queen's being consulted about this. I don't know, fucking shoot them. We have guns. <laughs> we have to get it on this last bar, that's it. Unfortunately. Yes! Yes! Fuck you, you ghost prick. Fourth attempt. Hmm, who's gonna take the over or under on four attempts? <laughs> That's bad. Oh, you prick. You bad man. He's so cringe, you know? He's a very cringe boy. Oh, you are. He's a bucket of cringe. Grow up, man. She came down in a fucking bubble, dog. Bro, fuck off. What a bastard, man. God, he's the worst. He's a bad man. He's a bad party guest. He has- he lacks dinner table etiquette. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. You bad man? You're a bad man? Like, come on, with that third hit, it just goes right over his fucking blowing locks. It's bullshit. What is Cloud doing? Beats me. Not having this shitty ass time with this bad boss fight. It's actually really fun without the flame bullets. You're a bad man. Well, at least after I'm done, I can talk to my parents, unlike Sephiroth. You're a bad man. You were a poor host. We're fucked. Do you like the trees that I planted? You're a bad man. Step her off. Bastard. Your flame pillars like I know you're gonna do. You bad man. <laughs> that sucked. Taco, you know what? You would have been correct if flame pillars wasn't a bullshit ass move cast by a bullshit ass man. Unfortunately, we live in a bullshit ass world where these things are simply realities. No, he's a bullshit ass. His ass is covered in bullshit. Just look at him. Mom, That is death. Oh yeah, my Koopa coin. Well, I left it in my other pair of pants, so... How do you manage to just so gingerly sweep your Keyblade over his, his head? It's, it's, it's precious. It's honestly adorable how Sora is just so gentle with him. Oh, indeed, Sora. Indeed. Sephiroth is a shark. Sephiroth took like a vacation there. You got like a fucking timeshare in the Poconos. Fuck. Cringe bucket. You cringe bucket. Go back to your fucking deviant art, Sephiroth. Fuck you. I simply like drawing my OCs. Leave me alone. It helps me escape from the pressures of my day to day school life. I like self inserts. What can I say? You know that a lot of successful artists started out drawing OCs. Bro, you're not cool. You're not invited to my birthday party. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're a bad man. I hope Sephiroth fucking stubs his big toe. I hope he gets a paper cut in between his index finger and his middle finger, like little webbing part. And I hope he dies. You are simply not a good man. Bad man. 
one-winged angel, more like a bad man who is bad and should die. Fucking got him. Bad man. Are you fucking kidding me? God, what a horror. I am a salty boy. Sephiroth would definitely fuck up your sandwich as a goof on purpose. No, fuck you. You're a bad man, all right? You are your uncle's least favorite nephew. Fuck you, Flame Pillar cheating asshole. Bastard man. Bad father, bad son, Sephiroth, overall bad human being. You prick. Bad man. God, you are such a bad person. Ugh, bad person. Huh. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, fuck you, man. I did it for the... I did it to stick it to the man. Sephiroth is bastard man. I'm gonna show this man how it feels to chew five gum. Fuck you. Come here, you baby man. I can't fucking see, bro! Sometimes if you know you haven't hit him in a while, it's just best to let him get it out of his system. He's like a little child. Let him have his tantrum. As long as I don't let you play with your Skylanders figurines, you're gonna throw a fucking hissy fit? Light the fucking living room on fire? Who fucking raised you this way? Ah, oh, you fucking bastard. Ah, oh, you're a whore. Terrible phase three. I should just go fuck myself. Fuck you. Stop it now. Stop it now, you garbage man. Sephiroth, do you want to go out and, like, play laser tag or something? Like, once the pandemic's over, I mean. I'm not sure. I don't really know you all that well. We've only been fighting for a few hours. Yeah, but I feel like I've really gotten to know you. I know your main interests. Swinging your sword. Being a cheating asshole. Lighting everything on fire. You do have a good point. Alright. I guess I'll pick you up, or... Well, I'm... I am 14 in this game, so... We also probably shouldn't be going on a laser tag date. As platonic as it may be, people just might get the wrong idea. That's a good point. We'll have to keep our relationship a secret. That actually sounds worse when you put it that way. Oh, you are a bad guy. Oh, you bad man. You're a bad grandson. Your grandma's not proud of you. She never talks about you when she goes to play bingo with her friends. They say, Shirley, how's, how's Sefi? She says, fuck if I know. He's an asshole. He never comes over for Sunday dinner. He never calls on her birthday. Fucking dick. He's a fucking dick. Mm, bad man, you're a bad man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you bad man. Oh, you're a bad man. You no good, lousy trickster. You're shedding, Sephiroth, you messy bitch. You're shedding your feathers everywhere. Who's gonna clean that up? Poor Phil? You know he has a bad back. You saw him trying to push that pedestal. You're a bad man. You're a bad influence on the youth. You're corrupting minors. Bad man. Ah, oh, fuck you, you fucking cheese ball. Alright, that was like the best phase to have had. Like today and the last time I tried. This is the wrong baby. Use my DM. I think my DM is just saying fucking shit over and over. Fuck shit. Fuck shit. Unfortunately, he's cheesing through my DM. Shit fuck. Fuck. Oh man, I didn't get any damage on him. This is the run, baby. This is the run. We have a whole fucking elixir left. I'm gonna jinx it. I'm gonna jinx it so hard. I want the jinx. I want the jinx working against me. I deserve nothing but ridicule. I got it. This is the run, baby. Fucking idiot. Fucking moron. Why no voice clip? Is his voice giving out because he's been doing this so many times? Like, I have a recital tomorrow, so I have to pace myself here. Bad man. You're a bad man. Dying on phase one. He's being such a brat. Fuck you. you... I, I let the rage take over. Ugh. <laughs> The games! We're fucking staying until it's done. That brought suffers from cool guy syndrome. Mm-hmm. I fucking let him tilt me. I was having a great phase and he fucking tilted me. I was like, fuck you, I'm getting my hits off. That's how he gets you. He's a bad man. He's a manipulator. Just use your fucking flame pillars. You messy bitch. Sorry, mommy. Your poopsies are toast. Yeah, well, fuck you, Sephiroth. Yep. There is no regular Pat Army, only a regular Pat Peace Corps. We do not engage in violence. We don't smash like buttons, we gingerly caress, maybe lightly push. We don't smash, we don't fight. We're a peace-loving nation. Oh, you bastard. One mind and getting killed on phase one like a pleb. Leave me alone, you bully. Cheese man, you fucking cheese ball. You are a cheese ball, sir. I prefer kale chips and quinoa. I'm on a cleanse. Tell Cloud that I've started my cleanse. Cloud's on the paleo diet. He would be on the paleo diet. It's a fad. Anyway, I'm off to my CrossFit. <laughs> I don't even know. No, thank you. Not interested. Nope. I reject your invitation. That was so irresponsible. Have you considered shooting him in the fucking face?
Whoa. I'm not disappointed and pissed, so I'm just trying to be determined, but thank you for scaring the shit out of me with your fifteen dollars. <laughs> Puts a little bit of a pep in my step. I'll try to be a little lighter. Hey guys, welcome back to another epic gamer regular pack fucking army stream. Today, we're gonna smash that motherfucking like button and Sephiroth's stupid pretty boy face. And remember to hit the bell. There's fucking merch. Ah, oh, fuck me running. Fuck me jumping, more like. Congrats to anyone who took the over on it. Will it take top four attempts to beat Sephiroth? Whoever took the over, good call. No way, Knoble. I appreciate the life advice. But I'm I'm locked and fucking loaded. You know what? <laughs> just fucking hit him during flame pillar and say fuck you. I'm just gonna swing through the third degree burns. I'm a glutton for pain. Sora, this doesn't seem mentally sound. Do I look mentally sound to you? There's no shame in asking for help. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Damn it, fuck. Fuck. Fuck me. Perfect combo. Fuck! Oh god damn it! <laughs> Jesus, and also Christ. Do it again, bitch! I fucking dare you! <laughs> Maybe I'll just load up Destinions and beat the shit out of Waka. Hey, man! Why are you doing this? You don't understand. I'm from a different unreality. Fuck me! Wow! That's death. That's death, kids. Fuck you, Sephiroth. Fuck you. Please, god, no. Oh, fuck. I will be here until the fucking cows come home. Fuck, shit, god damn it, cock dick ass, and also bitch. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Baited, baited hard, baited fucking so hard. Fuck. It's not, it's, it's not even about to stream anymore, it's, it's about me and Sephiroth. No way. No way, we're going for it. Hmm. I don't know. In these unprecedented times, please continue watch, watching me try to kill Sephiroth. I will take a break after this attempt. Although I'm gonna win, so... Fucking descend heartless, okay, let's go. Break time, we'll take a five minute break, and we'll be right back the fuck at it, okay? Alright, let's let's see how this so-called break does. Press one if Sephiroth is a bad man. Thank you. I just wanted to have that reaffirmed for me. Violet? You've gotta be fucking kidding me. We'll go for it, I mean. Sounds cool, bro. When are we leaving? Give me, give me a minute to pack my shit. Fucking break strats. I am such a fool. You were all right, okay? You were all correct. I'm a fucking moron, and you guys are the best subscribers a fucking human being could ask for. Did I get Steve Harvey on that run? Holy fuck, dog. Jesus Christ. The power of resting. Who was it? Plape and Risa and Knoble. All correct. L listen, I I'll eat my words. With dressing, with sprinkles, whatever the fuck you want to put on it, you were completely correct. Oh, man. I should have taken a break four hours ago. Um, I think, I think we're good to go. I think I have the best subscribers ever.